bloody bloody good uh, how is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic thursday chat nobody went out fast as hell somebody said you can't get said i wouldn't be surprised bro i ain't that dirty bitch i ain't that dirty bitch you think i you think i got one tank top i got more tank tops than shirts hold up Boom. Boom. I'm not I'm messing them up. Fuck. Well now they're all unrolled. Do you guys roll your clothes or fold your clothes? Or do you just shove them in the drawer? <laughs> I used to do that. When I was in <laughs> when I was in high school, I used to just now I roll my clothes. I mean it really depends. If it's like jeans or something, I'm gonna fold them, but like if for like shirts and shit I roll. But, like, I used to just shove that shit. <laughs> Swear to God, they'd be clean. I'd just go, just jam them all in there. Just be a clump of clothes. Everything would be wrinkled as shit. Somebody said hang everything. Oh, so, oh sorry, we don't have... Sorry, not everybody has a walk-in closet. Oh, oh, I hang all my clothes. Well, whoopee-doo for you, buddy. Aren't you fucking special? Optic for the sub, Gizzy, Kia, Pagey, Sir for the sub, Big for the three. You should play the Naruto Storm Trilogy. It goes through the whole anime at a better pace. It'll be a fun stream game before you send anything. I already sent it in the game session tab. Can you send it again? Unless you just sent it, because uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, Joe Barton June for the sub. Chat, what are we doing today, by the way? <clears throat> TBDJ said, I actually have an assistant. You have an assistant that hangs your clothes. Is it your parents? Is it your, is it somebody you're related to? That doesn't count as an assistant. That would be your mom or your dad. Yes, it is. Okay, that's not an assistant. Chat, we're playing a brand new fucking game today. Pacific Drive. Dropped today. Uh, it's a Sony game. Uh, but it released on PC, which is weird, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just not a Sony exclusive. I think that's really what it is. I'm pretty sure it dropped on PS5 too, but we're playing it on PC uh, and it's basically like uh, a weird survival horror adventure. Sneaks playing it too. Yeah, I actually put him on it. I told him I was playing it today, and then he checked it out. He was like, dude, this looks good as fuck. I thought it was Reacts today, buddy. It's a Thursday. Today's Pacific, uh, it's not a horror game. Yeah, it's it's more of an ominous game. It's not actually a scary game. There's not like jump scares or anything, chat. Uh, it's like a mixture of long drive Minecraft and like b a bunch of other games. I don't know if we're going to like it. I hope we do. It looks sick. Uh, if we don't like it, we'll switch games obviously. But, uh, if we do like it, we're going to run it. Um, tomorrow's reacts for the person that mentioned reacts. Tomorrow's react day. Uh, Saturday's the Minecraft tournament at two. Sunday's reacts at two. Monday I'm live at 430. We're going to be doing VR. Um, because, uh, I owe you guys a VR day. So we're going to be skipping Minecraft. Uh, Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing uh, Itch Games Little Misfortune. Uh, next Thursday is going to be... Next Thursday might be more Pacific Drive and then an Infinite Craft Race. Next Friday's React. Sorry, I had to look at my schedule. I have it on the top of the head normally. Don't have it on the dome today. But that's the schedule for today, chat. Also, I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling a bit mini shieldish, right? I think I kill this. Before we hop, actually, is that a bad idea? Because this game's supposed to be pretty hard. Can we do infinite craft if it's not good? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't really have a definitive plan if this game sucks. <laughs> if, if if it sucks, I I mean I think it'll be good. Uh, I don't even if it is good, we're probably not gonna play it the whole day. You know, like this is gonna be probably like a four hour fucking stream. I doubt we play this the entire stream. Uh, so we'll probably switch to whatever the fuck you guys want to do after this. We might do reacts today. I mean, it's really up to y'all. Um, but we're already doing a full react day tomorrow, so I don't know if you guys are going to vote for that today, but we'll do that. Uh, somebody said hi, YouTube. I mean, if you guys want to say hi, YouTube, you can. I don't know if this is going to be a YouTube video. I mean, it'll be on the VOD channel. New VOD channel. Mods been the VOD channel. Uh, new VOD channel. Uh, started that up. Shout out to Everest for, uh, posting my VODs previously, but now I am taking over. I'm taking the reins on the VOD channel, but... Um, it might be a gaming YouTube video. I don't know if this game is obviously going to be good or not yet, but, uh, if y'all want to pre-jack the, 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 hey, hey, YouTubes, you can, uh, cause it might be on the gaming YouTube at some point. 
We're also going to be doing an extra upload on YouTube today after stream on the main channel and an extra gaming upload on uh, Saturday uh, on the gaming channel. Uh, so we're uploading a lot on YouTube today, almost every day, whether it be gaming or, or main. GMT Dang for the sub true of the three. Are you going to play the Outlast Trials? Is the Outlast Trials the Outlast multiplayer game? Because that game sucked actual fucking horse cock. And there were actually a bunch of cocks in that game as well. Uh, there were many close-ups of penises. I don't know why that is. Um, but, yeah, no. I That game was uh, mid. Uh, Outlast Trials was very, was very mid. Uh, it was an aggravating game. It also wasn't really scary. Uh, comparable to the OG Outlast. And, uh, there were just a lot of dicks. I don't know. I'm not complaining, you know? But it was just, like, there was a lot of... Just ran... It would, like, randomly flash a penis on screen. And it'd be like, oh, jump scare! Uh, Waffle for the sub. Far Hank for the three. Do you have a clip, uh, on Lav mic you recommend? A lavalier mic that I would recommend you to get if you are willing to spend any amount of money uh, is the, um, hold up, I'm grabbing it. The Go Wireless 2. Uh, literally, what I use on VR days, what I use on, um, like when I do uh, a bunch of streams and shit. Also, chat, in two weeks, kind of a, a, a fucking early shout for this. I bought, do you guys know what IPAs are? Yes or no? Probably no. <laughs> they're like craft brews they're like craft beers right they're like very specific craft beers uh i bought a bunch of worldwide ipas and like unique local ipas like meaning local meaning northeast uh or like new jersey and we're gonna be reviewing them on stream uh and the title of the youtube video is gonna be trying the weirdest ipas i could find uh, like, there were ones that are entitled French Toast, and it's supposed to be beer that tastes like French Toast. It's not gonna taste like French Toast. But, um, like, ones like that. Like, just weird fucking craft brews. There's ones that are supposed to say, like, Kool-Aid. Uh, so it's a pretty cool idea. But that, like, I'll wear that lavalier mic when we do that video. Uh, True for the three. I already read that. Far Hank for the three. Jamar for the five. You should play cool math games. Apple, Optic, Gizzy, Kia, Page for the sub. Um... Knox for the sub, Buck for the three. Love the streams. Keep it up. Uh, Vin for the sub, Venom for the three. I got banned from your Discord. I was wondering if you could find out why. I am not uh, I am not at all involved in the moderation of my Discord channel. Uh, I obviously use the video in the game suggestion tab. Outside of that, it's out of my hands. Um, my uh, mods kind of handle that on there, and there's like a shitload of Discord mods. My head mod, I know who they are, but I don't know the other mods, so... Uh, Natoon for the sub S14. You can create a ticket. I don't know if you are able to when you're banned, uh, but you might be able to. You're gonna have to go through them because I don't. I, I don't. I wouldn't even know how to help you, even if I wanted to. You know. Um, but yeah, are you guys ready to to get into the game today? Hold up, let me launch this bitch. Also, gotta fucking gotta drink this little uh, mini shield here. Have you played People Playground? No. Is Joe a stoner? I wouldn't say so. Chat, would you say I'm a stoner? I'm going to leave the rest of that for later. I'm going to leave the rest of that. Yes? I wouldn't say so. I had a few people that would, like, aggressively comment in my TikTok section that I'm not a stoner. And that it's, like, it's kind of a disgrace that I say I am. And I was like, buddy, I don't really say I'm a stoner. My chat does. And secondly, the fact that you're getting mad about that is like crazy like it's such a thing on okay i'm not saying i'm addicted to weed i don't think i'm addicted to weed hold on let me mute this fucking music real quick but i gotta rant about this for y'all it is shocking the amount of people on social media when you like i don't I, i've never been through this but i see it on like comment sections and shit people that say they're alcoholics or that they were addicted to like pills or something the amount of people that try to convince addicts that they're not addicts to make themselves feel better about their own addiction is insane. Insane, right? Uh, you do drugs, weed's legal in New Jersey. You can go to a fucking store and buy that bitch. No, but like, dude, if you go on, t like, if you ever like fucking see a TikTok of somebody talking about how they're an alcoholic or they've gotten over a fucking drug addiction, 
there will be people in the comments that are like, uh, I do Molly on Saturdays. That's not... I do Molly on Saturdays. That's not... That's not an addiction. Uh, dude, if you have a... If you have a scheduled basis on when you do drugs, that is not necessarily an addiction, but it's leaning towards it. I have a schedule on when I do weed. If you want me to be blatantly honest, I have days where I regiment, hey, I'm going to get high today, right? At, like, I'm going to I'm gonna do all the things that I need to do so I have free time to get high. That's like stoner shit. Right, like that's like if you want, like if I'm being blatantly honest, like that's stoner shit, right? I don't think that's good. I think that's a problem. Um, I also haven't not been high. Uh, like I'm not high all the time. I would say I'm not high most of the week. But like, dude, yeah, no, like I would say I have not gone a week without getting high since I've turned 21. Um, <laughs> like flat out. Um, but I, I don't know. Like, do I, do I think? I could quit at any time. Like, no, I'm not going to say that. But I mean, not nah, like I, I don't think I'm a stoner because I think I think what a stoner would be is like a daily user and somebody that relies on it. And it hinders. I think an addiction is when it when you rely on it and when it hinders your performance in other aspects. Like if you start failing school, uh, like if you're failing your college classes because you smoke so much weed. Or you're high in class or something like you're an addict right like you're a fucking addict uh but if you're like getting high on weekends i don't think that's necessarily a problem but like i'll see tiktok comments of people like oh i drop acid every wednesday i'm like dude that's not good <laughs> that's, like yeah it's a hallucinogen but like yeah at least you're not taking fucking oxycontin but that's still a problem charlie for the fives is baked as fuck if not it compares for the sub popper for the seven I want to say hitting a cart once or twice a week as a stoner. I would say I'm a stoner and I smoke a couple joints a day. That's a stoner. I And then in parentheses, they put, I'm definitely not addicted. Yeah, no, that's, if you're smoking multiple joints a day, have you graduated yet? No, uh, I'm still in college. No, if you're smoking multiple joints a day, now that, I would say you're a stoner. Yeah, I'm not dissing you when I say that either. And you know what's weird is this is the last comment I have and then we'll get into the game. The, there is, like, no negative connotation with being a stoner anymore, which I think is a problem, right? Like, being a stoner is the weed equivalent of being an alcoholic. And if somebody says, I'm an alcoholic, what's your response? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> God, like... Ooh, fuck. That's not good. Right? I think because weed doesn't inhibit you as much as alcohol does. But if somebody says they're a stoner, it's like, ah, okay. Ah, okay. You're like, you're like a hippie, right? Like, there's some shit like that. It's like, no, there's no, like, no negativity to it. And I don't think there needs to be as much negativity with somebody being a stoner as much as an alcoholic. But I don't think that people should perceive being a stoner as a positive. Uh, if anything, I would say it's a neutral negative. Um, Foxman for the three. Going through a lot. I, hope, I will say, dude, nah, it is a problem, though. Weed makes, for me, weed makes everything more fun. Uh, it, 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 genuinely, I, would, I will say this. If you can never get into weed, never get into weed. Are you high right now? No. I would tell you guys if I was high. I fucking, I, I, why would I hide that? But don't do weed until you are 21 and it's legal in your state. I'm fucking so serious about that shit. Like, I, I know I say that and people are like, oh, you're just saying that to fucking get across because you don't want to get canceled. No. Like, don't do weed when you're young. It's stupid. I probably am too young to do weed, too. My brain doesn't stop developing until I'm 25 and I fucking get high. That's a problem. Uh, good pussy for the sub. Papa, for the 2,000 monarch bitties, I just smoked a joint the size of my fucking arm. You smoked a joint the size of your arm. Dude, that'd be like a fucking half ounce of weed. Sim for the sub, Natoon, S14, and Vin for the sub. Um, Ganeo Chase for the sub, Charlie for the five. Gone through two one gram carts in three days before. Yeah, that's bad. It takes me a month and a half to get through a cart. Uh, and that's with other people hitting it. I just eat edibles. Chase for the sub, GMT for the three. Play Terraria, you cornball. <laughs> Shut up. Ganeo, Capybara, Finn, and Pwips for the sub. All right, are we ready to lock in here? Turn that music back on. Yo, listen to this shit, though. Sounds like some futuristic interstellar shit. All right, lock in. 
I hit a K2 cart, fucked me up. Why the fuck did you hit a K2 cart? Were you in prison? I haven't heard of somebody use K2 unless they're like locked up. That's synthetic weed for the people that don't know that. Erica and Mikey for the side, uh, Gareth the three. We had to put my dog down today. Rip in the fucking chat. I'm so sorry. I, I gotta turn this music down now. I'm sorry to hear that. Genuinely. Like, that is fucking awful. Uh, your videos help me with my mood. Thank you. I mean, I'm glad my videos could help, but genuinely, man, a losing, losing a pet is the fucking worst. Uh, like, especially if it's one that you've had for, like, years and multiple, like, basically your whole lifetime. Like, your first pet's really usually the worst. And your boy for the three. Sorry for possibly ruining the mood. I turned 20 on March 4th, which is in 11 days. I don't know what to do with it, nor am I ready for it. Got a lot of thoughts going through my head. A lot bad. Why? If you want me to be real, your birthday is meaningless. Uh, so don't, don't beat yourself up about the fact that you're turning 20. Right? Time is an illusion. Uh, we created time. Right? Time exists. But it just marks you rotating around the Earth for a 20th time. And it's not actually even accurate. It's, it's, there's no, like, definitive point, right? Seconds don't matter. We made up seconds. We could make up, we, we, it, hundreds of years, not hundreds. Whenever we fucking came up with our timetables, we could have fucking created something else to where a second was twice as long as it is now or something like that, right? Time doesn't really matter. I, I think you're freaking yourself out maybe because you're getting older uh, and you're worried about, like, what you should do or some shit, but I, I don't really know why you're panicking. I would say don't really freak yourself out about that, though. Getting older is a part of life. Can't really do anything about it. As I have for the sub captain for the five. Your streams and videos are the highlights of my day. I never stop oh, living the best life. Dude, W fucking message, Captain Sticky. Thank you for that. Bro, still young? Yeah, dude, you're still young. I will say, though, it really hits me sometimes. Like, I turned 22, like, what, a week ago? Two weeks ago? Dude, that shit, like, fucking hits me sometimes like i'm like damn dude like i'm 22 years old like i've been on this earth for 22 years it doesn't feel like it um but yeah i mean like life's gonna fly by dude fucking live in the moment desire for the sub uh all right lock in here chat somebody call me unk don't call me unk you fuck what the hell Oh, I just gotta pick a slot. Would you like to customize your settings before you start? You can adjust these at any time during the gameplay. Bitch, I already customized them pre-stream because I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm actually looking at them bitches again. I fucked with the controls. Chat, there's a lot of controls if you could see. It's gonna stress me out. But you guys will help me. No, you won't. You'll just bitch at me to figure it out. Alright. Lock it! I also moved my camera down here because this is uh, where I'm not blocking anything to my knowledge. I hope so. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creatures, creations, fuck, spread, so did stories about overnight. Fuck! I can't read fast enough. Okay. All right, it's fine. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Okay. So it was a failed experiment. What happened inside was never disclosed. And they give me 10 years to read that fucking line. Maybe give me a little bit longer. You give me four seconds to read 10 fucking sentences. Are you dyslexic? No, I'm not dyslexic. Why is your cam here? You'll see. Oh, I got the writing of a first grader. In the wet beds. Wipers. Lights on. Lights off. South of the barrier wall. This is way too loud. Oh my god. Now, dialogue, I'm going to keep up. Okay, this is actually kind of sick already. And I don't have to worry about other people because everybody's dead, chat, so I can drive in the middle of the road. Love that. Pothole! 
good graphics? Yeah, the graphics are fire. If it starts lagging, let me know. I gotta turn it down again, chat. It's the fucking music, man. Why is the music so loud? Oh. Durr. Oh, that is much better. Is that too loud still? I can turn it down a little bit if need. Uh, but, yeah, no, I think it's fine now. But the graphics should be chill. Uh, I don't think it's gonna lag, because I have a pretty good PC, but we'll see. Oh my god, I have to turn on my wipers when it's raining? This is about to be a too realistic game. C to turn on wipers. Got it. Stat! Can I make him go faster? No, they just go, they just steadily go, wow, that is a massive fucking wall. That is a massive fucking wall. Okay, the handling is actually, chat, I know you're not going to notice this. The handling of the car is actually getting harder as it's raining. Like, the turning's more wonky. Go outside and drive. Where am I even headed? I'm assuming I just follow this road until I meet a fucking checkpoint. Jeep driver here? Shut up. SHIT! Oh, that's a tight turn! We did it. God, whoever made this road is fucking stupid. You ever wonder how original roads were made? Like, how did they decide, hey, we're gonna throw a road down here? Dude, it was like, utterly random. Like, I know when they connected roads, it was different. But, like, our roads are based off of, like, where motherfuckers were just like, yeah, I think I'm going to set up camp here. In the middle of a field. And like, in the, just, just hiking, hiking in the 1600s. They were like, yeah, let's build a house right here. I like this spot. And then they build a road around it. Like, and that's why it's inefficient as fuck. And there's random ass roads. See to toggle headlights. Okay. Music's kind of hitting though. Probably shouldn't have popped that mini shield while I'm trying to learn the game. Wow, this is like too realistic. Is it still raining? No, turn off the headlights. Or turn off the lights. What is happening? Oh, I'm entering. Oh, God. What am I about to go into? Is this a scary game? I think it's more ominous. Okay, see, like, then you ask me that question. It freaks me out. I think it's more ominous than actually scary. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there are hostiles and stuff. But I don't. I, I doubt we're going to see those right now because they haven't even taught me how to play the game yet. I'm just driving a car to a destination. We're kind of in the war aspect right now. Yo, imagine this game. Holy shit. Yo, chat. All right. I'm going to sound like such a gaming nerd here. You know those full setups that people have where it's like a seat with a wheel and they play like racing games and it like does the whole shebang. Imagine if they had this in VR while you're seated in one of those fucking things. Oh, that would be so crazy. I, that's what I look forward to gaming-wise. Like, Chad, are y'all gonna play video games when you're like 50? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Okay, shit's just starting to like crawl out of the ground. What is happening? Yeah, dude, I hope gaming's like that advanced. That would be so fucking sick. Also kind of scary, but it would also be sick. Okay, reality's like warping in front of me. I have no idea what's going on. My car stopped. My car literally just stopped. Oh, fuck no. I have to get out. Oh! I'm getting sucked into a black hole. I'm, 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 and I'm dead. All right, that was a good game, chat. That was a good game, chat. W game. Worth the $20 for whatever the fuck this cost me. Oh, I'm alive. 
Did this teleport me into like an alternate universe? Oh, it did. Fuck off. And my car is broken. My tires floating in the fucking sky. The Olympic exclusion zone. Get to safety. Find transportation. Bitch, that's my car engine. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Was this game free? Bet you think a Sony game would be free? You're on crack. No. I don't know how- chat, how much is this game? It's not 60 bucks. I think it was like 40 bucks. Some shit like that. I'm, I, like, I'm kind of nervous something's following me. I doubt something is, but... Also, the gravity's all weird. How do I... Oh. It was 30 bucks. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Huh. What a swan, I... Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. What? Put the wheel back on. Why am I taking damage? Where's the wheel, chat? Isn't the wheel already in it? Hold E? Oh, you have to hold E. I'm an idiot. Was the car talk- Okay, I'm gonna sound like a dumbass. Was that a person or the car? Is this gonna be like the movie Cars? Oh, Yo, is that considered like- Is that considered like a- Like a sexual thing if you were to like drive Mater? Do do you think like do you think Lightning McQueen's insides are like organs or do you think they're like um like like uh engine or do you like is that like hollow or do you think it's like engine parts? Like what is like Lightning like if, what does Lightning McQueen look like on the inside? Do they ever open up the car? His organs are his parts. Yeah, but like wouldn't that his engine parts? Yeah, but do you think he has like a an innard? Or do you think, like, you could, do you think he has, like, seats? Because it, his, the windshield is his eyes. Backs for the three. Can you help me out? I just basically lost all my friends and my girlfriend over the start of the school year. I don't know how I can make new friends, how I could keep friends, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong or why people are starting to not like me. Has this ever happened to you? Dude, yeah, you're going to lose friends. That's life, bro. Especially you said the start of the school year. If you want me, to, I don't know what fucking grade you're in, but if you want me to be honest with anybody, the majority of the people that you know in high school, you won't be friends with in five years. I'm not saying it, like, your hometown friends are different, right? But if you're talking about, like, your high school friends, the majority of them you're not going to fucking be friends with in two years, right? You, you, you fucking, you, you, you get new friend groups, right? You meet new people. Uh, same thing with college, right? Like, it, 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 you kind of settle into your friend group outside of college, but, like, in from the ages of 14 to 22, you're going to be in 10 different friend groups. Like, that just happens. You might have one that stays consistent, but, I mean, I'm sure you're going through that. I can't really help you outside of the fact of just saying, you know, meet new people. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's you, necessarily. I don't know why they wouldn't be your friend, but um, you got to find people you click with more. Mariella for the three. We are a race car family, uh, and during COVID, the only way we can race is on the simulator uh, called iRacer with other people, and he has VR and connects to it, and he also has monitors. That's 100% realistic. See, that's so fucking sick. T, T set for the three. I've been watching you for two years. It's my first stream because uh, the time zones are my favorite streamer. Thank you. Sky for the set pop-up for the five. I was going to buy one of them for flight sim so I could rip a bong and fly a 747. Oh, God. Double tap nap fabe I love for the sub papas for the 2000 buddies. They used to be trade routes. Codfin Isaiah for the sub. What? Roads used to be trade routes? Yeah, I, I understand that, but I'm saying why did they choose that route? Captain for the five. Your streams and videos are the only highlights of my day. I never stop being uh or living your best life. Thank you. Uh, I already read that. Uh, all right, let's lock in here. Get in the car. He's going to start talking to me like Mater. This car is so much shittier than my other car. 
get to safety. Still. Oh, the signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? Wait, hold on. Let me uh, let me rev the, the engine. The signal in the outer zone. It looks oh, wait, like it's somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. <laughs> My name is Toe Mater. <laughs> Yo, that would have been hilarious. Hey, we got a live looks, one. Looks hey, like you're in the me. exclusion zone. I gotta be Hello? paying attention to this guy. Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Oh, but they know they're communicating to me. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about Oh, so I lived and outside of the zone and got safety, in it. This one won't so not, the whole That's world isn't point. fucked up. It's just hey, this part. You're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Nah, I'm chilling. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Am I running out of gas? I'm going back! Put it in park! Turn it off! Drive east to find shelter. Check your truck for a fuel can. Oh, I gotta go siphon gas? I've always wanted to do that. Don't ask me why. Where do I find... Check your car for a fuel tank. Bitch, I ain't got one. Is there one in here? That's litter... Where is the fuel tank in my car? I'm almost sure there was supposed to... Blue thing in the trunk. Oh. Ew, why is it, like, stuck to something? Siphon fuel from the broken down car. Oh, he's not using his mouth? You ever see the videos when people siphon gas with their mouth and they end up just swallowing, like, half of it? Imagine drinking gas. That would be brutal. Is this gonna fill it, like, fill it all the way? Hopefully. Drive east to find shelter. Okay. It helps kill bacteria. Yeah, listen to that baby roar. Oh, what is this? Uh oh. Is this east? There it is again, that flip on this patrol. Am I not supposed to be driving in this? Am I not supposed to be driving in this? Is this bad? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't Oh my god, there's the fucking there's the thing right here. What we should be looking at is how fast this breacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a no way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? What Holy is a remnant? Cripes. No one's had work and wheels in here for ages. Boy, I killed. Wait, so there's other people alive here? Away out there. Oh That's shit! Of ourselves. First, the I'm drifting to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. What is that? I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring it. Back, it's baby. scary. What the fuck? You find that show right go on and let yourself in. Oh uh, shit. I ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad Okay, side so they're guiding me to their life. shelter. Don't wanna damage the car here. Squeeze right in. Okay. Alright. Is this it? What is that? Oppie's Auto Shop. Okay, so it is their stuff. Am I gonna fix up my car? You're supposed to put it in park before you turn the car off, chat. Uh, what do I, how, do I, how do I get rid of this gas can? 
Still got this bitch, uh... Still holding this... Oh. I guess I gotta store it there. Oh, because I don't have a trunk. How do I get inside? Key start it. Yo, what, you know, do you think hot wiring a car is like a cool skill? I feel like if you know how to do that, people are gonna be like suspicious of you, but I think that's like an honestly, like a good skill to have. Just in case like the apocalypse happened. What is that glitch, dude? I think I just walked in the wires. How do I get in this building right here? Nope. I need like a tool of sorts. Is there a window? Don't tell me there ain't no window here, bitch. Oh. I'm an idiot. Turn the power on. Equip backpack. Picking the backpack from the table. Oh, God. Who's there? Who is talking to me? Shop. God, it's been great. Your wheel you fell got off? Five seconds to get the hell out before I. How did my fucking wheel fall off? Oh, my head. Uh, the emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and, well, uh... A remnant taking the form of a car. Is that not actually a car, chat? Is that a living thing that I'm driving? It's matter. What is a remnant? It's like a skinwalker? No, it's not a car. They're saying... I think it's teaching us the lore in the sense of, like, we live in a... I'm living... I'm in the... Ex I was in a car... Then I was in the exclusion zone, and I think whatever made me go in the exclusion zone took on the form of my car. Maybe it is Mater. She's not gonna care. <clears throat> this is like a 20-hour playthrough. The game ends, and it's just like, You did it! You found me! I'm Tow Mater! Uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Ah, that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? How do I pull do this bitch in? Oh, I can understand. just drive it now. That odd I didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you want to I'm, be Okay, this is not how you drive a car, Chad. Through. Hold up. Wait. I just remembered. Now you put it in drive. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Who is talking to me? Oh, God, unfortunately... The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone not or pulled anything in? trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything. Oh, they want me to leave, so they're gonna help me. I shop with those soft hands of yours. Add to your list a crude door. Blueprints, crude door, pinned to checklist. How do I, how, what, chat, what button is that? Oh. <laughs> Escape. Oh, now it shows me all the stuff. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Shirts the abandoned car's trunk. I need it, sir, I need a pry bar. Bang. Toolbox. Into my backpack. No, into my hand. And I'm gonna steal all this other shit too. Fuck you, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> Pry this bitch open. Chad, am I am I smart right now? I feel like I'm understanding this. I'm pretty I'm pretty How do I just Oh I can just do this. I literally just got space. Uh then I go in here. That ain't work. Open that bitch. <laughs>
switching it around. I want it like that. Gather items from the abandoned car behind your garage. Scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels. Damn, so I gotta fucking break all this shit down? So I'm like a scrapper. Yo, chat, y'all ever see... What's that movie where they're in, like, the fucking desert? And the guy spray paints himself with, like, silver spray paint? I don't know if you guys are gonna... I, I don't know. I, I doubt you guys are gonna know that movie. Mad Max. Wow, you guys did know that movie. Y'all ever see that movie? This is just... I feel like this is just like Mad Max. Where I'm in, like, a fucking, um... Weird apocalypse world. Craft a crude door in the shop. I feel like I should still be using this bit. Oh, there's a durability on my... On my, uh, saw. Do I have to constantly make new ones? Craft a crude door. And I need fabric. Oh. What the hell was I looking at? Oh, I was looking at a first aid kit. Crap. Okay, now I put this bitch on. Mink. Wow, we're actually suiting this shit up. What does this do? Get the repair putty from the locker. Yo. Open this bitch up. Chat, how do I open this? Somebody said, not gonna lie, boring game, so I'ma go buy. L fucking chatter. Buddy, we're like 10 minutes into the game right now. Goose for the sub. Uh, floating for the three. I know how to hotwire a car. Yeah, I'll actually fucking time you out for the rest of the stream. Dude, just bitching. Didn't even nicely ask me to fucking swap. Just actually complaining. Bye. Goose for the sub floating for the three. I know how to hotwire a car because my dad taught me when I was nine. I never tell people, though, because they don't let me in their car. Ten tacos for the 350. Won't be able to stick around playing Helldivers. Mariella for the three. I already read that. All right. Lock back in. I'm, we're not going to play this the entire stream, but I think the game's pretty fun right now. It's just fucking starting up. We don't even know what the game's about yet. How do I open the fucking locker, dude? Oh, my God. This is the locker. It just shows me the contents of it. I'm a dumbass. Equip repair putty. Oh, I didn't want to drop that. Inventory full. We'll pick that bitch up in a second. Use the repair putty to repair the car. What futuristic ass shit is this? That just fucking removed rust. You know what we need? Flex tape. That'll fucking fix everything, chat. Use your trunk storage? How do I do that? Oh, you're saying just put shit in here. But how do I open up the trunk storage? Nope. How do you open up the trunk storage? I don't think it'll let me. It's not giving me a button. Oh, that's in my hands now. What am I holding? Whatever. I don't know. We gotta figure that shit out. We'll fucking repair this real quick. What game is this? Pacific Drive. You get it in a little bit? Yeah, I'm trying to jump the gun here. They're trying to teach me this right now. I'm not doing the storage stuff. I'll just pick up those fucking uh, first aid kits in a minute. Okay, the car is actually starting to look much better. This shit is fu- Wait, no, I'm missing that. I'm missing a rear bumper. Most of this is fucking too fucked up to even fix. NASA's live right now? What the fuck is NASA doing? 85%. Fix the headlight. I feel like I'm wasting this shit. Oh, don't tell me I don't have- Oh no, it just fixed both of those. Fix the tire real quick. A lunar landing. They're live streaming a lunar landing on what? YouTube? Alright, well that just fucking broke. 
I have like almost nothing. Repair putty to repair the car structural part. Yeah, so I'm 90% on Twitch. NASA has a Twitch account. Yo, where the fuck is the the other thing that needs to be repaired? Is it these tires? I, because we're not reaching 100%. I feel like it's because I have to fucking do the rest of these tires. Chat, what am I missing? What isn't, what isn't repaired right now? That shit's flat. But that's not the problem. The fender? Chat, what the fuck is a fender? Well, I'm missing a fender. Oh, this actually fix it. I, I thought this was fucking broken. It's just so fucked up that I needed to use that. Okay. Fix the flat tire, scan it. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with a spare tire found in the locker. Huh. Crafting and using a ceiling kit. We could craft it with glass shards. But do I really want to waste my glass shards on that? Actually, I don't have glass shards anymore, so we need to get a fucking spare. In the locker. What locker? Would this be the locker? Oh, I have the tire in my fucking hand. How do I rip this bitch off? Boom. Boom. Smart as fuck. Okay, nope, never mind. Boom. Drop that bitch. Put that bitch back on. Fixed it. Well, now what the hell do I do with this? Scan the loose wheel and equip the mechanics kit. You should be a mechanic. Dude, it just fucking feels like mechanic sim right now. I'm trying to get on the damn road. Equip the mechanics kit. Where the hell is the mechanics kit? Chat, somebody tell me where the mechanics kit's at. What is this game, bitch? I don't even know. I'm trying to figure this the fuck out. Equip the mechanics kit. Where is it? It's right there in my backpack. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, just like no. Just smack it with a wrench and it fixes it, chat. Just like no. Fucking, it's that easy. All right, now my shit's fucking pristine. I need a sidewall, though. Install the cardboard boxes. Hands only. So how do I take this out of my hand? Warning hands only. How do I put this in my hands? Both hands? What do you mean both? Uh -huh. Use both man- both manos. Glitched ass game? I, dude, I just don't know what I'm doing. Mano Imano. What? Hold E? Alright, I'm just stupid. Alright, the game's not complicated. I'm just fucking dumb. Craft mat. Put that here. There's a little Install the arc device in the, the garage. The arc device. <laughs> oh, she was telling me what it was. I mean, I just fucking installed that bitch. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's mm. how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Oh, I doubt I will, lady. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Get first aid kits from the locker. Bitch, I already did that. Let me pick them bitches up. Store items in your car for safekeeping. Here we go, chat. Now we're fucking cooking. Now I want I want to keep that. Now. Boom. Smack that bitch there. And I'm going to keep my rubber ducky on fucking hand. Actually, that's probably dumb. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my rubber ducky. Just in case. 
You never know what's gonna happen in the fucking wilderness, chat. Oh, I gotta put my scrapper in there and my road flare? That's kind of fucked. They're making me put everything in here. Boom. <laughs> Download crafting blueprints. Shebang. Scanned it. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint from the front garage door. Scanned it. Use the pump to fill your fuel tank. Damn, yo, they're helping me out so much right now. Like, they're just letting me use all their shit. This game is 15 hours long. Yeah, I doubt I'm going to beat it today. This seems like a long game. I just wanted to try it out, though. It's a new-ass game. Throw the switch uh, to charge the battery. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. <laughs> oh. This is a zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. So the world will it's randomly change. It's caused something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. Okay. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Pick a route? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Select destination? Three hours? You think that's three in-game hours or three actual hours? Yo, that dead ass might actually take three hours. No shot. Off you go. Nah, that's in-game hours. Out of the garage and follow the access Let's road. hope in-game. Imagine it's just... Chad, imagine it's just three hours of driving dead silent. Like, there's no commentary. It's just like a road trip. Road trip! What is this? Abilities. I ain't got no damn abilities. Start that bitch up. Put that bitch in drive. Let's get it going. On the road again. Small fender bender there. Not a problem. On the road again. I just immediately total the car. I gotta fucking bring that bitch back to the- Yeah, what happens if I fuck my shit up on the drive? I'm assuming I gotta fix it. Huh? What happened? Oh, it fast travels me. Oh! Yo, that is actually fucking sick. Thank God I don't need to drive like that fucking far. Oh, I'm just here. I'm just immediately here. Okay, and everything is constantly changing colors. Which is kind of scary. Perpetual okay, stability? Newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Yeah, you already are overwhelming me. the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Gather, find, and scan a plasma generator. The I mean, I'm gonna guess up there's some one. Plasma generators yep. nearby. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Hold up, I gotta go get, get my shit to hands, pick up materials. An impact hammer will do the trick. <laughs> An impact hammer? Blueprints, impact hammer, pin. Chat, I know how to play the game. I'm a fucking these materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just 
Why is shit floating, dude? Alright, so I just gotta loot a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna just take everything I can fucking get if I'm keeping... Chad, is that smart? I feel like I just grab everything I possibly can. Like, why would I not? Having the most I could get is what's kind of fucking needed. Out in the zone all on your own. They can I saw so this? Fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old no. gal. So there's some Didn't things I can break uh, and some things I can't. Again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade. You get slower the more stuff you again. grab. What did you finally talk Francis to death? All right, what's in this one? Hello to you too, Oppy. And no, I'm still here. Dude, how do I have this much fucking inventory space? A receiver? Was I supposed to break that? Imagine I fucking needed that. Oh, that would blow. They're giving me a lot of fabric right now. Um... I've looted most of the stuff, though. I, I, we can make the impact hammer now. I'm assuming I just have to remake scrappers and stuff, too, once this runs out. Yeah. So it actually shouldn't be that hard to make stuff. Crafting mat, impact hammer. I need to make gears. How do I make it gear? Gear. Craft two gears. Craft the impact hammer. Boom. Was I supposed to do that? I hope so. Oh yeah, I need more plasma. Okay, so I gotta go break a bunch of those. Sodium vapor light. Would this give me plasma? You broke it. Did they get on the inner mic? They're like, you fucking broke it! We needed that! Where's the other one? I need five, I need five plasma. Should I keep driving? Hold FN and F9 for abilities. Chat, what happens if I hold function F9? This kid is spamming that. I feel like that's gonna fucking delete the game. Use the scrapper thing on the pole. Remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I don't know what else I I'm need. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get 55 seconds and counting. I think I got okay, basically okay, okay. everything from here. Chat, did I miss anything? The road objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people. It opens your abilities menu if I hit function nine. Oh, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more. Why am I dying? It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. But we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was- I think I need a draw. And uh, now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Everything yeah, I need to go find to more of these. Will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Yeah, gather and crap, recommend collect materials and crap replacement parts. Okay, so I'm gonna run again. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. What is that? What is that? Don't drive under it? Why? What was that? Okay, this looks like it's about a kick. Dude! It 
it's breaking my fucking car! Oh my god! Yo, this fucked my shit up! Is my car about to explode? Why is it... I'm gonna leave it. It'll it'll settle down. It'll settle down. It'll settle down. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, chat. It's fine. What is that creepy ass noise? It's Dude, this shit's freaking me out. Fucking grabbing all this stuff. I got to go I got to go break this. I don't want to run too far away from my car. Like, I, I'm, I'm taking damage from something. Is there, like, radiation? My car's the Flash now. I'll just teleport into the future like it's fucking back to the future. You already got the bad ending. I, is it safe for me to get in my car right now? I hope so. Let's give it a start. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta break this last one right here. Okay, now my car's driving all fucking weird. It's driving by itself. Stop, 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 stop. Why does it keep trying to electrocute my shit? Did I stop my car? Dude, why is it just all shut? Is my car off? Yeah, it is. Center console's the HP of the car. Hold up. That's the HP of my car? How do I fix my car? I gotta go break this shit. Alright, now we're fucking set. Uh, well, looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. The Look plasma for increases tower, HP. Up on a hill somewhere. <laughs> Locate the radio station. Like, what are these weird walls and shit that I'm fucking... Is that like a barrier? My car is literally fucking... <gasps> I'm gonna ignore that thing. I'm gonna ignore that thing. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm on the road. Locate the radio station. Is this the fucking radio station? Sick drift. God, that was like some fast and furious shit there. You should have played this with Max Taylor. You can't even play this game multiplayer. This is a fucking single player game. Also, this would be way too complex for me and Max to run at the same time. This would be, like, at atrociously complex. Oh, keypad? Introductions. Oh, hell no. You think I'm gonna read all that? Way too much. Oh, shit. My, my. Where are our manners? Uh, driver, we never introduced ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and... Pika, Cream, and Tentacos for the sub. Uh, Judah, Alan, and M for the sub. Uh, Cyclops for the three. Irrelevant, random, I reached one year of self uh, free of self-harm. Dub. Getting a tattoo is celebration of my journey and how proud I, uh, I am of myself for healing through my battle of mental health. Well, I'm glad that you fucking, uh, you know, healed through that. I'm sorry you had to go through that to begin with, but fucking dub in the chat for that. Eight for the sub. Jax, uh, Goose for the sub. Uh, all right. Um, here with me is Dr. My car Francis is cooked. Cook. Yeah, my car's fucked. I was an uh, R&D scientist researching limb technology. How do right I fix my car? We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself, the mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. Oh, the That's enough. Resident party pooper. You think the putty would fix it? Nah, nothing's broken though. 
Like, I got shit that's, like, a little fucked up. But, like, nothing's really, like, that fucked. And I have no more putty. See, like, it's not fixing... Oh, it is fixing the health of my car. Hmm. Use repairs from the pad? Fix the keypad. What do you mean? This? Use repairs from the pad. Where do I even gotta fucking go, chat? Is it this? Do I gotta go over there? How is he reading chat without looking at it? Dude, I'm glancing at my chat. I gotta turn the fuck around. Yeah, I gotta make my way up there. What's the premise of the game? Uh, I have to be, I basically got thrown into this exclusion zone and I have to find my way out. I should slow down, I should slow down. Oh, maybe get more gas? Do you think we need more gas? Were they here when I... Were they here before, chat? Feel up a little bit. I don't remember if they were here. But they're all looking at me, and it's kind of creepy. We're gonna fucking run it. Is this game only on PC? No, it's actually a Sony game. Uh, so it should be on PlayStation. Uh, I'm just playing it on PC. I think I just go up this road and then I should be right there. Oh, it says I have to craft replacement parts? <gasps> what are replacement parts? Why does it say I'm in danger? game looks kind of fire. It is fun. I don't know if this is the best stream game necessarily, but it is a fun game. Oh, I'm, I have ra I was all, I was dying of radiation. How the fuck do I get up here? What the hell was that? Dude, how do I get up there? Am I going back down? No. Is this destroying your 4090? No, it's actually faring very well. Like, I have this on max graphics. I thought it would be doing much worse. But it's actually doing fucking fine. V to teleport? Dude, the drifting's nuts. This should be the radio station. I gotta go collect parts. Gotta heal myself a little bit. Um, it says I have to do repairs on my car, replace parts, craft, collect materials and craft replacement parts for my car. But why? My car's fine. How do I get in here? Oh, that's how. Um, I actually have no idea how to get inside, but I do need to get inside. That ain't gonna work. Uh, Chad, how do you think we fucking get in here? Your saw's about to break. Yeah, but I could just fucking craft another one. The saw should be easy to make. See, I don't know. I don't know if I could break locks with that shit. Can I break it with this? Nope. It says recommended. You don't have to do it. Collect parts from the station and pa oh, right here. Wow. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. 
The instability makes all routes the fuck way. is the point of me not being able to get back the way I came? Comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And in the car! That, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. You think there's a safe for me? Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I should have gone this path here. All right, now nah, we're fine. We're surely fine. We're surely fine. I think I'm. I think I'm. I, th I don't think I have a wheel anymore. I feel like I'm missing a wheel. Take the anchor. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. What is, what is it gonna make that fucking weird sound for? What the fuck? I have to keep it in my hands? Where am I supposed to fucking put it? Oh my god! Get in the fucking car for the love of god! Where am I going? What the fuck is that? I'm driving. Where do I go? 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 What the fuck? Collect art. I have to collect more? Hold up. I gotta turn around. I gotta I gotta go get more of them or they're gonna I'm I'm gonna fucking die to this thing. Where did the Wasn't there a massive pillar just behind me that I was freaking out about? It did it again. What the fuck is going on? I'm doing the shortcut. We're fucking ripping it. Put that bitch in park. Turn that off. Boom, boom. I'm so confused right now. I'm gathering energy from these arc devices. I think they really gotta explain it more. That's my one complaint is like, they're telling me like, oh, there's an arc device. Bitch, what the fuck is an, what the fuck is an arc device? Like a lot of the stuff they're just like assuming is like, oh, it's futuristic. So we don't need to explain it. But I would still like that explanation. We'll do this last mission and then we'll swap to something else. I do think the game's fun. I don't know if it's necessarily the best stream game. I think it's entertaining, but... I can understand where, like, a chatter coming in right now would have literally no idea. Like, the people that have been here since the start of the stream get what's going on. But, like, if you weren't here from the start, you're probably genuinely confused. You're going the wrong way? No, I'm not. Oh shit, I am. Oh my god, I am. I have to go over there? How the hell am I gonna get over there? I can't select that on my map. Chat, where am I? I'm supposed to go into the fucking woods there? Do I have to go off-roading? We're good. It's fine. It's not... Chat, it's not a big deal. Don't start it? What do you mean, don't start it? Dude, where am I going? I'm fucking driving into the abyss right now. Where am I? Oh, fuck! Where am I? There's nothing even here. There's nothing here.
gateway too close. I have to drive away? Oh, I have to activate it first. Dude, I don't know if this car is going to fucking drive up this hill, Chad. This is like a fucking 1950 sedan. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. This is like driving a fucking rear-wheel drive car in the snow. You can only walk there? That doesn't make sense, dude. Still too close. Okay, now? Oh, I did it! Oh, fuck! You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. me back to the garage. Frothy and Lil Biggie for this up. It does. Wow. Okay, that's actually fucking useful. Oh, well, well. You're alive. Yeah, I am I'm alive. I'm the zone didn't get you that gateway would. Mm. My car is fucked. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything... W raid in the chat. Sneak snag. Thank you for the fucking raid, brother. Thank you for the fucking raid, brother. W raid in the chat. Mods, do the little shout out thing for Sneak. I don't know how you do it, but you do the little follow thing. You know what the fuck I mean. Hello, Sneak Snags viewers. Thank you. Thank you for the game suggestion. It's a good game. I think it's a good game too. I don't know if I I don't know if I think it's the best stream game ever, but it's definitely the a very fun game. I think it's like unique, uh, mainly. Uh, and no problem, bro. Thank you for the fucking raid. I appreciate that shit. I hope you had a fun stream. Uh, we're also playing, uh, Pacific Drive, uh, right now. I've been playing it for, like, an hour now. Just completed one of the first, like, big missions. Uh, big McStinks for the sub. Uh, we might hop into some other games, too. But, um, it is a fun game. Um, thank you for the fucking raid, by the way. W fucking Sneak Snag. Thank you for that. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Joe Bart. Played with Sneak a few times. Um... Also, his teammate on Saturday for the Minecraft tournament. David for the sub. All right. Collected out there. That's well, I'll let her get through this, and then we'll save. The only way to get back with I need to make a new intact. scrapper, too. Now, I feel like I can do that right now. I'll let you use my fabrication station for now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from Oh, now I build the fireworks. antenna. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But Somebody redeem screen as loud as I can. Oh, magic, brother. So bring back as many as you can. Wait, hold up. And just save. because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't Lady, mean you gotta quit your yapping! Equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Yeah, we're clear. Damn, dude. Fucking yap. Yapping, dude. Save and quit. Save and quit. Save and return to the main menu. Damn. Fuck. W game chat. Oh my god. Okay, hold up. Everybody turn down your headset. I'm gonna scream as loud as I fucking can. <clears throat> That can't be good for my mic. It really can't. I know it can't. Um, but David for the sub, Mc, big, uh, big McStink. Th uh, thank you for the sub as well. Chat, uh, I gotta take a fat piss, uh, and then we'll run some other stuff. Count me down. Um, 30 seconds.
I have a DMX shirt. I can't find it. Whatever. All right. So that was a W game. I don't know if it, like, would you guys want me to play that another day on stream? I thought it was a fun game, but it's just like, I, I don't know. I don't know if like four streams down the line, if motherfuckers are going to understand what's going on. You know what I mean? Like killer frequency is like a seven hour game that we've been playing, but it's like, all you need to know is like, I'm a radio show host that has to prevent people from dying. Whereas this, like if you tune in and you weren't in the last stream, it's like, I got to explain to you like, Hey, what blah, blah, blah. This is what happened. We're in an exclusion zone. This is how I crap shit. Like the interface is just going to make zero sense to those people. David and big for the sub. So I don't know. It is a fun game though. I'm not going to fucking refund it. I might play it on my own time. We might play it on stream another day. Me don't know. What do you guys want to do today though? Uh, cause now we'll do whatever the fuck y'all want. Uh, my mods pulled switch games. Chat, I don't want to play switch games today. I don't know if I want to hook up my switch and deal with all that bullshit. Killer frequency, infinite craft. I don't, I don't, I want to wait on doing infinite craft until I can do a 1v1 against another streamer. I know I'm doing that with Sneak and Zeusy next Thursday. Uh, I could maybe message, uh, Austin and see if he wants to do it later. Um,. Hold up, let me ask him. But we wouldn't be doing it right now. Uh, are you streaming today? I'll ask him. I know Sneak's busy, though. That's why he streamed early. But uh, Valorant or Killer Frequency? What game would you guys want to run right now? Uh, right now, though. I'd deadass play anything. I'll play fucking music in the back right now. I hate awkward silence. Let me play some lo-fi. Some nice lo-fi beats. Just chilling in the back. VOD viewers, I'm sorry. You're not going to hear this. They copyright everything. They really try to fuck me. Copywriters, dude. That's what's really crazy. I think copyright is the biggest bullshit. I think copyright makes sense. But the idea that if I play six seconds of a fucking copyrighted song in a four-hour VOD, they copyright the entire thing. And they get all the rev. They get all the fucking... Like, they can limit how people see the video and shit. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Skull and Bones? Bitch, that ain't even out right now. I don't think Skull and Bones has got released. It actually might have gotten released. I don't know if the full game got released. Philosophy? Alright, hold up. Let me let me make a poll. My mods keep making polls. Poker? Oh, we can do Balatro. Yo, chat, there might be a Balatro angle. No lie. Played that bitch yesterday for like four hours. I'm a fucking goat. We'll play that, um, we'll play that later in the stream. I'll still throw it on the poll, though. What do we want to do first? Four Fall Guys or Killer Frequency? Honestly, you want my genuine thoughts, chat? I'm feeling a four into Killer Frequency into Infinite Craft or into Val, possibly. Or Val? Okay, I'll throw Val in there, too. I'll let you guys choose, though. God, Toxic Val right now? Oof. Chat, I don't know if I'm in a toxic mood. I feel like that's an end, uh, a later in the stream type thing. All right, people are voting for literally all four. Killer Frequency is getting the most votes. Killer Frequency is getting the most votes by far. Fuck Fort, Val, instead of Fort. Well, Killer Frequency is winning. Why do you guys like Killer Frequency? It's so mid. Mochi, maybe you shut the fuck up. Fort too boring to watch. I just want to play a game where I could talk with my chat, which would be Killer Frequency. Uh, Rex Arena for the 15 of Japanese. Let's play ping pong on cool math games. Dude, can you stop asking me to play cool math games? I'm not playing fucking cool math games. Killer Frequency wins. Yeah, but it only is 52%. What's another game that you guys would want me to play? I'll pull Killer Frequency against one other thing. Uh, and so we might play some of that. I, w I, I want to play multiple games today, though. I'd run Killer Frequency for like an hour. And then I would run and run something else. Like, I want to do, like, a four or five ga game stream today. Poop Killer? I'm not playing another Poop Killer, bro. Stop asking me to play Poop Killer 3. Those first two games were fucking garbage. The first one was actually kind of fun, though. The second one sucked. But that's also because I got soft locked. Don't Pee? Oh, God, do you want me to play Don't Pee? We could play Don't Pee. Do we want to play Don't Pee first? Helldivers 2? I'm getting a four-man for that. So we're not going to play that today. Hold up. How about this? 
How about don't pee into killer frequency into something else? Thoughts. Also, the people that shit on Fort, fuck you. Fort is fun. I think Fort's fun, though, just because I can yap to my chat while I play. Which? Into Toxic Val. Don't pee or killer frequency. Don't pee is a horror game about having to use the bathroom and not making it in time. For the people that don't know what don't pee is. Uh, it's supposed to be very good. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's, like, speed runs for the game. Uh, it's $2. You've woken up in the middle of the night and you have to pee. Get to the bathroom as fast as you can before you piss yourself. Uh, is, is the, uh, that's, that's the game. Uh, that's the game. I don't know. I don't really know anything outside of that. But that's, uh, that's the game. Yeah, we'll play Don't Pee. We'll play Don't Pee, then we'll run some Killer Frequency. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, play maybe Bellatro, Val, fucking whatever. You guys will vote. Uh, does that sound good? Uh, hold up. Gamer time. Random game day. Lock in. I gotta change fucking title. Do happy wheels. Get out of my chat. <laughs> happy wheels. Oh, I know what we can do, chat. Can I just hold on to the thing and I'll win? Dude, let's try that. I'm gonna hold on. Hold up, hold up, chat. I know what we can do. Let's watch Tabuscus play Happy Wheels for the next four hours. I'm holding on to it. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on! This time! Hello once again, audience. When we left off, I forgot to put a parachute on my back before I jumped off a building and now- Y'all say my face cam's close? This motherfucker is right here. Hello, everybody. We're gonna be doing Happy Wheels today. This time. For Moto 90cc by Theon and the half rating over games. You make the joke and then you laugh at it yourself because you think it's just a funny. You're dead, man. How are you still freaking talking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. Don't laugh. Didn't he voice annoying orange? That's like one character. Like, if I could erase a cartoon from existence, it would be annoying orange. I think Annoying Orange has zero positives. Uh, it is the most... Uh, I know it's annoying, and it's supposed well, to be like Annoying it. Orange, but it is awful. They still make Annoying Orange videos. I need to see the comments, bro. Who the fuck... This was so hilarious, got me dying. Annoying Orange never fails to make us laugh with his videos. Keep rocking. This is the most funniest video. God, these people are fucking smooth brains, dude. Like, the most funniest video. The most funniest. I love your channel. I've been a fan for 10 years. Jesus Christ. This guy's probably like 30. <laughs> fan for 10 years. How long? How old are you? Oh my God. Annoying orange request. Dude, how long have they been making videos for? Years, man. New YouTube 14 years ago. Isn't he the fucking voice of it? Tabuscus? Didn't he have a TV show too? Annoying Orange Movie Blockbusters Storytime Special. Yo, he's pulling views. Like, he is still pulling views. Annoying Orange for fucking 14 years has pulled so that many views. How many views does the channel have? 8 billion views. Get the fuck out of here. 253 million fucking views rolling in the dough. I used to watch that shit. I used to watch this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, would you look at that? Joe Bart VODs? Joe Bart VODs, new VOD channel. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, Joe Bart VODs? Wow. Wow. Who is that? I wonder. Wow, it's like almost like I'm linking in the chat. New channel? New channel? The VOD channel? Wow, there it is. Anyways, alright, let's uh, launch Don't Pay. Do I need to turn my lights off for this? This is supposed to be like a horror game, bro, but it's like fucking, it's about having to take a piss. 
Okay, this actually kind of looks scary. It's foot longer for the thousand biddies. Uh, I'm only 14. I want to do philosophy. So what jobs can I get with philosophy degree? Because if I go to college, I want to do something that at least pays decent. What do you suggest? Hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me exit out of this because this bitch is fucking loud as fuck. Uh, well, that's not a definitive that you're going to want to go to college for that because you're a freshman in high school. Like, you might change your opinion. Somebody said lag. Chat lagged so much. Yeah, probably because of the game. Uh, I'll launch it in a second, though. Um, philosophy degrees. I mean, most people that get philosophy degrees either have dual degrees in psychology or some shit, or they go to a doctoral program. Uh, it's usually, like, big shit. Like, you could be, like, a lawyer, a fucking um, philosophy teacher. A lot of people get their master's or their doctorate and then go teach philosophy. But outside of that, you can get a lot of stuff with, like, civil programs and shit like that. Uh, it's really just what path you want to go down. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Like, I, if you're saying you want to make a bag, I don't, I honestly would say philosophy might not be the path. Um, I got a philosophy, I'm getting a philosophy degree, but not because I'm going to get a job in it. Uh, you can, but most of the philosophy majors that I am friends with are dual psychology degrees and they want to be a psychiatrist. Um, and that really helps, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Spubbles for the 1500 bitties. Thank you for the 1500 bits. Hey, Father, how are you doing? Good. Rex Arena for the 1500 bitties. Uh, I already read that. All right. Hold up. I might have to change the fucking graphics because this game might lag my stream. Or the fucking FPS. Yeah, it's lagging. Dude, why is it lagging, man? The resolution's all fucking weird. Hold up. Hold up. Did it fix it? Chat, spam real quick. Just spam one. Oh, because V-Sync's on. Hold up. No. Oh, now it's working good now. Dude, the fucking... The audio is way too loud, though, bro. How the hell do I turn the audio down, you fucking jerk-off? Why do they not... Bro! That's not even an op? Why am I looking at a dude's crotch? settings in this fucking game uh, I shouldn't have drank that fifth beer <laughs> no I shouldn't have I shouldn't have drank that fifth beer charged flashlight dude it's pitch black in this fucking room oh right here huh? this will help can't see anything I can't see anything. No signal. I shouldn't have had that fifth bush peach. That's what did me. Nah, damn it. Not again. Not again, it's my, fine. my toilet's in I can make it to the downstairs bathroom. You can turn down the game volume manually in Windows Auto Mixer. Dude, it just won't let me turn the audio down. I could just turn it down here. It's probably not that big of a deal. I'll just turn it down like that. Chat, is the audio too loud? It should be fine. The toilet bandit struck again, chat. Maybe this is from Thief Simulator. Stop. Is this game actually scary? Okay. <gasps> not now. Not, not now. now. Not now. I can't piss myself just yet. I need to make it to the bathroom. <laughs> no! No! I'm not gonna piss myself! Okay. I really need to find a job. Uh, I, really, I really need to find a job. I have a big house. Maybe this is my mother's house. I can't really tell. 
Why are we growling? I don't know. Dude, what the fuck? Where is the bathroom, dog? Well, we already saw a bathroom, but it was fucking messy. Uh, there was a, there was the old toilet. crafting table. We had some good memories. I bet I could make a toilet here. I have to craft a toilet to piss in? Bro, just piss outside, dude. You're a fucking guy. Let's go. I gotta craft. Uh, Not oh, again! Geez. Oh, no. Ugh. What happens if I piss myself? Why is there just fucking doors all over the place? They said downstairs. I don't even have a kid. Where did this room come from? I move so slow. I gotta make sure I don't piss myself though. I gotta be locked in at all times. Bathroom uh, locked. The boards are back. A nice clean hand. Uh, uh, no! No! Again? Oh my god, how bad do I have to take a piss, they bro? They think these chains are gonna stop me? Piss in the bottle? Uh, oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh no. Uh, it is just constant, constant having to take a piss, dude. Where the fuck is... Okay, this is a, this is a padlock. Okay, we have to figure out what the fuck this is. So how do we figure out the code? Probably somewhere in here. Breaking news? What's the breaking news? There's toilet bandits on the loose that people want to... The talking not fish! Now. Not now! At this point, just piss yourself? Yeah, I might as well. I can't hear anything. Oh, turn this oh geez. Yo. Don't this know. motherfucker, Ugh. this motherfucker just keeps having to take a piss, dog. I gotta fucking turn it down even more. Yo, turn the volume up, dude. E, interact, item, action, left mouse. Do I need to turn the news up or no? I just picked up that remote. There's, there's a area for quarters. Oh, is this if I actually piss myself? Oh my god, I can't get in anywhere. <gasps> fucking shit! Alright, how do I fucking break down this door, dude? I need to turn the TV up. How do I turn the fucking TV up? I is inventory. Remote. Oh. Good evening, I'm Alex Sargo, and this Laundry is, City is so News expensive at nowadays. Six. Our top story tonight another zombie outbreak has occurred in the downtown area. Zombies? This marks the fourth such event this year, but city officials assure us that the situation is, as always, under control. Ah, it's true. Our no. Falco, who's on the scene now. Thank you, Alex. I'm here at the edge of the quarantine zone where the latest zombie outbreak is unfolding. As you can see behind me, the affected area has been completely quarantined off by authorities. The outbreak, which began early this morning, has been contained to a three-block radius in the downtown district. The Rapid Response Undead Unit, or RRUU, was on the scene within minutes of the first report. Their swift action has been instrumental in... Five is the code? The it's a multi-digit code. <laughs> Not now! Not now! Standard protocol, which includes Yo, this is gonna get so annoying. For relocation, the city's rehabilitation and uh, there's, zo there's a zombie outbreak, but I'm worried about the pissing myself. continue to work on understanding and potentially curing this condition. Each outbreak gives us more data to analyze. <laughs> Bitch, I'm leaving that TV. I'm gonna do my damn laundry. Inventory. Coin. Coin. Slot that bitch in. Inventory. Coin. Slot that bitch in. <laughs> Not now! Just, oh no. Ugh. I got a hammer. We'll still go ahead next month with additional safety measures in place. Thanks, William. In related news, the City Council has approved additional funding for the RRUU and the Rehabilitation and Research Center. This decision comes after a recent survey showed increased public support for zombie research and management. Okay, zombie According research and management. Why do I have, like, base PNG photos? You think I can break down wooden boards with a hammer? Okay, I can. <gasps> Not now! <laughs> Not 
again! This is my last pair of underwear! Plus, a look at how local businesses are adapting to these frequent outbreaks. Stay with us. Alright, yeah, there's another boarded room here. I'm not gonna be able to get into that bathroom, though. Okay. Piss on the windows? You think that'll fucking solve the problem? Oh, hell no. I gotta go into the basement? Swing? Swing peek? Oh, it's my car. You're telling me I can't- Oh, this was a bad one! This was a hard one! I'm ready to smack some shit with a hammer if somebody jump scares me. Nothing? Nothing? Why- why even open those if there's nothing in them? I can't find any- Bro, what the fuck is this? Uh, oh, jeez. No, no. Uh. What am I, going into the catacombs? Like, yep. what the fuck is happening? It's raw porcelain. If only I had something to mine it out of there. <laughs> if it was raw porcelain. I need to- I need to mine the raw porcelain to, Oh my god, I need to fucking make a toilet. Stop! I thought the game would pause! Clippers? Okay, so I got cutters. Alright, now we need to go back upstairs. For us to make a toilet? Yeah. Oh my god. You're not gonna fool me, buddy. I'm gonna be able to craft this fucking toilet. Give me those bolt cutters, dude. Yeah, but I go break this bitch open. Bonk. Open it up. A key. A key to the bathroom? Possibly? Thoughts? <gasps> oh. Key to the bathroom. <gasps> Damn it, Will. Got me again. Oh Why fuck! Move it to this time. There's the code. Three four six two three. Three four six two three. So my friend's playing a prank on me. Three four six two. Shit. Okay. A dead bird. Was that supposed to jump scare me? The hell was that noise? It was a dead bird. You are at the precipice of destruction. You will scatter your wits and construct the final toilet. The fate of the universe lies in your hands, young warrior. Quickly now, through the porcelain portal. Just a dead bird. <laughs> just a dead fucking bird. Is this just gonna TP me into the basement? Well, well. Where the Haven't fuck? Haven't been here in years. <laughs> Haven't been here in years. This is just, just back again. Keep stealing my toilet. Toilet progress zero out of three. Guess what the fuck? Where am I even going? <laughs> Not again! <laughs> what the fuck even is this game? Dude, I don't. Oh my god, I can mine this stuff. Yes! Is it giving it me? Is it giving it to me? <coughs> okay, it didn't give me anything. Am I supposed to <laughs> Okay, the owl's watching me. I don't think I'm supposed to mine this stuff. Moist speedrun record. He has a speedrun record for this. What is it? It keeps saying hold key. What does it mean hold key? Oh, oh geez. Oh, no. Oh, half key. And then I have to hold F. Moist has the world record. Dude, where even am I? It's just a visual glitch? Okay. I move so fucking slow. Why can't I just piss out here? Like, dude, I'm in the middle of, like, a fucking alternate planet. No one's around. Did 
Did you find this game out because I'm always critical? No, I saw people put it in the game suggestion tab like two weeks ago. Or whenever it dropped. Oh, there's a bucket of piss. Is that a bucket of piss right there? I got one of the things. Oh, and then, and then I add it. Shit. Not now. I have to go craft it. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I have to add the water tank. Like this. No, maybe not. Oh, no, I do. Okay, that's how I craft it. And then I have to go back. And I have to go craft more shit. Where else did I need to go? I need to go downstairs. Because that's where I can mine that stuff. See what happens if he pees on the circle things? Well, if he pees, I lose. I need to go in here. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. How do you even speed run this game? There's no shortcuts. Okay, I got clay. Do I need multiple clay? Uh, not Dude. Not yeah, I think I need all this clay. I'm gonna get all of it. He got 201 seconds. He beat this. He beat this game in three minutes. Uh, How? Oh, jeez. Oh no. Uh. Oh no. Not again. Alright, I need to go, I need to go upstairs, I gotta craft a toilet? I gotta go craft something. I don't know what. Which room was it? I think it was this one right here. Yeah, and I said I hadn't crafted anything in years. Okay, yeah, that does make it. What the fuck? Oh. Thought it wasn't gonna work. All right, now I bring that bitch back. But then what? What's the only other thing you need to make a toilet? Somebody said, "Why aren't you reading my chats?" Because I'm not. I don't. I don't prioritize you over other viewers. <laughs> I just read chats how I read chats. Sometimes I'm not gonna read yours if I didn't see it or they're just not entertaining. Where the fuck was the dead owl again? <sighs> Fuck! I don't remember where the dead owl was. Was he upstairs? He was upstairs. I need a toilet lid. Where the hell am I going to get a toilet lid from? Where the fuck was the owl? Oh, the obvious portal room that's sitting right here. Where was the lid at? Alright, well, I could bring this. No, not that. Toilet bowl. But now I need... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Ugh. How do I... Chat, where's the lid hat? Oh, the one room I never went in. Oh, where is that? Oh, it's in here. It's in here. It's this way. Right here. Yeah, I never went in here. Uh, the hammer. I feel like I didn't break this door down ever. I don't remember if I'm going to use the bolt cutters for this. Oh, can't see anything. Bitch, what? Pickaxe. Only real people know this is actually how holding your pee is. Nah, having to take a piss at night is awful. There's been times where I've really had to pee at night, but I was too comfortable to get up, so I just went back to sleep. And then it, like, hurts your sleep, and you wake up, like, every 30 minutes, but it beats standing up for 30 seconds to go take a piss. Oh, this is another one of those creepy-ass rooms. I'm probably gonna have to... Not now! Not now! I'm probably gonna have to mine... Oh, no, it just gives me the lid. I thought I was gonna have to mine more stuff to craft another one. I could just bring it back. 
too tired to piss, too full of piss to sleep. Yeah, it's that. It's that ultimate conundrum. Oh, oh my oh, god, how bad. Oh, no. Yo, his oh. bladder would have to be so full. Did y'all hear about that person that joined a competition on the radio show to, like, drink a gallon of water and whoever could hold their piss longest wins? And the lady fucking died. Like, apparently if you hold your pee too long, you actually fucking die. There's a jump scare. I've already been jump scared a million times. Every time this motherfucker has to take a piss. Toilet seat. Throw that bitch in. Bonk. Take a piss. Take a piss. Yes! It is time! That's it? Why is it still playing? What happens if I piss myself? I gotta quit the game, Jesus Christ. What if I can stop playing the music? What happens if you piss yourself? Oh god, a new gamer driver's ready, chat. Do I download it? No. G-Force driver. We gotta do that later. Not right now. Not right now, chat. That's a bad idea. It's Foot and Hesham for the sub. Rex Arena for the five. All right, y'all ready to run some uh, killer frequency and run some predictions on whether or not I uh, get people killed? Ah, if you weren't here last time, little rundown of what killer frequency is. Uh, you don't need to know the past shit. There is a mass... I am a radio show host in a very small town. The police officers in that town were killed by a serial killer that they believed was dead fucking 20 years prior, right? The serial killer's on the loose. I now act as a 911 operator on a radio show. I have to guide people to live, right? And if I fuck up, they die. I saved one person, and then the next guy I got killed because I uh, triggered something at the wrong time, and then the serial killer came in the room and murdered him. So it's like a radio show. Like, you're not actually going to see the guy, but I am, like, at a radio show, and I'm listening. Like, imagine I'm Howard Stern, right? It's a pretty fire game. has really good reviews. Uh, don't pee. That game... Chat, do you think that game was worth two bucks? Yeah, I would say that's worth two dollars. That was that was the epitome of a two dollar game. I think I got my money's worth. It was about twenty minutes of um stupidity. <laughs> uh it was worth it, I would say. It was a WP game. Alright, killer frequency time. <gasps> we'll run this for a little bit and then we'll play some other shit. Um lock in here, chat. Start this bitch up. It's worth two bucks if it was two bucks less. You think that was a free game? No, I'd pay for that game. Uh, somebody spamming for me to check out their YouTube. Gonna ban you, buddy. Sorry. Self-promoing? You've been following for a minute. Uh, and you're spamming for me to give you a shout-out. Buck for the three. Should I get a burrito or a burrito bowl or a burrito from Chipotle? Chat, when you guys go to Chipotle, do you get a bowl or a burrito? Dude, it's just way too much. When when people say, oh, I get a burrito bowl with tortillas on the side and then I make it myself, like, bro, I'm just getting, I'm going to get a fucking burrito, dude. I'm not doing all that bullshit to get fucking one ounce more of chicken. Like, I'd rather just fucking order the burrito and fucking mac that bitch. Right, I understand getting a bowl if you want to eat a bowl, but why order a burrito bowl if you're just going to make a fucking burrito? Like, that's... I would get a burrito. Dude, and they got rid of that fucking... They had that limited time chicken that was, like, spicy. And that was the fucking shit. And now they got that regular-ass chicken, and it's just not the same. It's just not the same, dude. It's not as good. Quandale for the sub Jamar for the three. Did you like poop curler or don't pee more? Um... Poop Killer 1 was better than Don't Pee. Don't Pee was better than Poop Killer 2. Buck for the 3. Uh, and I think I read everything else. Uh, Rex Arena for the 5. He's him and it's fucked for the sub. Alright. 
Lock back in here, chat. Why am I just frozen on this? Okay, now it's awkward. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Why is the Dorito emote banned? Because my chat would spam it. Because one day I told a story about how when I first got Twitch, when I was like um, 12 or 11, I went into a Minecrafter's chat and just spammed the Dorito emoji until he banned me. And then I got in my bag and I got really upset. My mods can type the Dorito emoji, but you guys can't. And I, it was like a, it was like a whole hour thing on stream where I was trying to figure out how, like, what YouTuber I did that to. Uh, but I, I can't, I couldn't, rem I couldn't tell you. It was probably like a 300 viewer fucking streamer that I used to watch at the time, and I remember spamming the Dorito emoji in his chat for like fucking 20 minutes, dude. <laughs> like. I was the chatter that my shitty chatters are now. Like, what do you mean in your bag? Like, I was sad, right? Like, so I wasn't sad because I was spamming, right? I got sad because he banned me. But I was, I was, I, was, I just copy pasted the Dorito emoji like probably 150 times. <laughs> and then I remember he banned me and I was like, dude, what the fuck? I was like, dude, what the fuck? banned i didn't even know you could get banned and i remembered dude my my reaction was the same reaction the shitty chatters in my chat have now where they're like what do you mean i got banned for spamming what do you mean i'm not allowed to type the dorito emoji 150 times odd for the three chat on a serious note don't hold in your pee too long i'm a nursing uh, i'm in nursing school and we just learned our kidney unit if you hold on to your pee too long, you can rupture your bladder, giving yourself a UTI or uh, yourself a kidney stone. Jeez. Well, thank you for the advice. Hisham for the uh, for the sub. Omega and Quandale for the sub. All right, hold up. Let me change game title. Mods already did it. W mods. All right, continue. I don't even remember where he left off. I know the guy just died. Oh, the guy just died, and then the other guy threatened me. Oh, that's where we left off, chat. Hold on, let me pause. I The guy I was trying to save died. And then right after that, we got a tape shoved under the door that said I was going to die. Vicious for the sub. Oh, I have another caller. Yeah, this is where we left off. I have a caller. Here we are. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The, the Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today, and man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Weird night to celebrate. I mean, it's not that happy today. <laughs> I'm going to say happy birthday, Fernando. I'm going to be nice. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? This guy's going to fucking die, chat. I don't think I'm going to be able to save him. This guy is threatening the serial killer. Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? Goddamn right! I'm gonna kick his ass! America! That's right, brother! Teach him a old lesson! Teach him a old lesson! Put his- put his little fanboy ass! Put his little fanboy butt into the fucking dirt! Show him what real muscle is! I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh, no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen. I bet you got soft hands. I bet you got soft hands, whistling man. And nice lips. Like, the luscious ones. The ones that, like, when you make the, the kissy face, they're just, like, they're really soft and kind of caressing. 
I bet, I bet you wouldn't use those. Fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. After this commercial, what commercial are we about to put on, bro? Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Oh, I gotta put on a commercial. I forgot. I, I, I run the radio show. I'm an idiot. Hold up. How do I fucking... Okay, there we go. You Close need on. to play a commercial cassette. Shut up, Peggy! Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any... Long tape. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Game's too quiet. I'll turn it up. Wow, oh, I gotta turn it up on my stream, man. My bad. Are you ready to unlock How about now, your again? inner warrior for only twenty four ninety nine? Only twenty four ninety nine. Step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only twenty-four ninety-nine. Just call five 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 seven eight six one USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The tornado. There'll be seven, seven video lessons. The karate of love making. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Probably Don't the pretend fuck like not, you're not dude. interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them. I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is. That would be hilarious uh, to watch. I uh. <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow. What a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Wait, was that we the guy that just called? You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on okay, the screen. Okay, this is going to be Murphy. Me, and he's Nash. dying. <sighs> Hello? Who is this? Hello. Are, are you still with us? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. Why don't they just shoot him? Like, why is this? This is, like, very similar to, like, the movie The Scream. Right? Or Scream. Where they're like, they're on the phone with the, the fucking guy, and they could just easily lock themselves in, like, a bathroom with, like, a weapon and just fucking Call of Duty camp the door, but they don't. They're just like, what do I do? I don't know. Two times already? So, you saved them, or? Like, get in your car and drive out of the town. Duh. Duh. Uh, she asked if I saved them. Uh, I'm I'm one I'm I'm one in one right now. I'm one for two, right? I got a fifty percent shooting rate right now. Well, you know, we learned a lot. Oh God! Don't worry, don't worry. I'm a second half investment here. Name, I'm gonna clutch up. We're gonna make it two in one. Virginia, sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Can you run away? Call a neighbor? Yeah, dude, like, what are you fucking helpless? 
Jesus Christ, it's like a deer in headlights. Fucking figure it out. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. You're alone! There's just a fraternity down the street. Go to the you frat party. Yes, Go to the frat party. A party. That takeout coming in all night. I'm going oh, to the frat I'm party. Beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. You're about to Virginia, get wasted, what's too. What's the name of the frat? Sigma Kappa Kai. I can't think Sigma, I, I Sigma can't. Kappa. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they... Go run to the frat! I'm gonna call the fucking takeout company? And deliver a message to the frat guys? Like, they're gonna fucking read that. Where do you take out from? I don't know. Hold up. I'm responding to Austin. Un momento. Un momento. Also, chat. One or two. Got to post on tech talk. Mm, one or two. Uh, one or two. The radio silence is strong. I'm posting. Only Hiroshi for the sub. I think I announced that like fucking 50 times, dude. I think I've read that a million times now. Only Hiroshi. Thank you for the sub, man. All right. <laughs> Don't be a child. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. She hung up well, on folks. me. Seems like our Virginia GGWP. hung up. Womp While womp. we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own oh, midnight snack. Oh, I gotta play snacks. music. Shit, 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 shit. Here's some music for your midnight snacks. What do I want to play? The word. Intro the song? Yes. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Let's play it up. Peggy, what places do you take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Auntie's Pizza. That's it, I think. Oh shit! Alright, we'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the so I'm gonna pose as the frat and call the takeout company. Do you have any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just bitch. slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy, Peggy. Peggy, or you leave your fucking bitch ass little room there because God, you're where to start? scared. You're scared. What would make me Peggy? order from somewhere oh. if I were a partying frat boy? Staff area we reception. Have a food critic, right? What do Chad I need to get, chat? Or, uh, Oh, fuck this. Where do I even need I to go? I just have to look around. Oh, God. They make it all creepy. Plot twist, Peggy's the serial killer. I don't think that'd be possible. What do I need to get? God, why is this fucking building so big? Chat, what did I need to get? Something food related. What do you mean? Like, I need to get food? Chat, instead of saying fuck Peggy, can you answer my question? Why not call 911 instead of us, bruh? Yeah, Mike Oxlong, the genius. Buddy, they're dead. They're dead. The whole point, I intro the game. Buddy, they're dead. Everyone in the 911 station's dead. It's a small town. The fucking serial killer killed all three cops. They fucking rerouted it to us. What the fuck was that?
What do I need to get, chat? Answer the question! Fucking 400 people typing in chat. Motherfuckers saying literally nothing in, re in relevance to what I'm fucking saying. Check the map. What do you mean, check the map, bruh? Oh my god. Food? So many locked doors, so few keys. Fuck this place, bruh. This is actually freaking me the fuck out right now. That's not opening. Why are all these doors fucking shut? Oh my god, I need to get the takeout advert, dude. That's what I fucking need. Peggy doesn't just have the phone numbers. Is she fucking stupid? Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. We found it. I wonder how well Gallo's High performed. Oh, long way. One free beer for every point that Gallo High wins on Tuesday's big game. Jesus Christ, they're offering fucking pizza deals based on the high school football team performance. Yo, Peggy! Hey, find anything useful? I'm just gonna wing it. Forrest, this is a matter of life and death. Are you sure? Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza! May I take your order? Fratman calling. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Garlic bread. Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice. But that will take three hours. You sure? Never mind. Just give me the garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> never, never mind. I'll just say, yeah, never mind. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. <laughs> did I hang up? And now we wait. All right, we did it. We should put a song on. Agreed. Yeah, this let me, one goes let me play some to our fire beers. This goes out to all the couples out there. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all Peggy, shut up. One eighty nine point nine. The screen. Ask her out on a date. It's now or never. I know you think she has the hots for Bob. You don't make your move. She's gonna talk to the other guy. Ask her out to Applebee's. She'll love that. Split the bill. Make sure you only go when it's half price apps. 
You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right, so between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought for us. I gotta fucking interject here. My friend, you guys can't see this. My friend just launched Sims 4 on his Steam. I just want, I just want you guys to know that my friend um, just launched the game Sims 4. Got a call coming in. Who the hell plays that? Me don't know. Oh, I gotta call somebody. Time to turn the music off. Shut up, Peggy. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? Somebody said, isn't this game like 20 years old? Killer Frequency is a 2023 first person horror adventure game that got released in the summer of 2023. Uh, and even if it was like, oh, isn't that game like 20 years old? Oh my God, I'm a dumbass. You're talking about The Sims. Eljo Bart. I thought you were bitching about this game. I was about to say, what the fuck? You think this game's old? This is an emergency. Bunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, Goose. I may be drunk, but I'm no fool. Uh, listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, he's gonna hang out. <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! <laughs> Norman what do you think? the Barbarian. <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the game. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Plunker's moving the house. Forrest, moving line the two. House. Line two, what the fuck? Hello, you're live on 189.16. Oh, is this going to be the woman again? Dream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Oh, my God. Get a knife. Uh, get a knife. Lock yourself in the bathroom. What are you standing next to the fucking front door for? It's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. We saved it. I think we I saved it. I don't want to. I don't want to pre-jack the dub. Oh my God! Okay, we saved her. You're welcome, Virginia. Well, that was way easier than the other one. And his fraternity Dude, brother. The other one where the guy died, I had to like direct him through a map. Like he did. Like I had to tell him where to go. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What did she say, Peggy? What'd she say, Peggy? Didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but she knows who the serial killer is, and that's how he had her phone number. Clive, I didn't talk. Your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, 
then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. People are saying Peggy's black. Dude, if she is, who cares? And she's just a shadow figure. Like, she doesn't have I suppose I should face. take this call. Oh, shit. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. This guy's it's creepy. It's a safe, family-friendly place. What small business? Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but... Uh, since you ask, it's Party's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Party, no! No <laughs> free <end. laughs> I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just. Uh, I can be mad. Bro's just Look, bro, he's gone now. Call. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath, and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? God, sure, his name's caller. Eugene. What's your name, and what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Oh, this Take motherfucker's gonna get murdered. Journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Lear, thank you for the fucking 20 subs! Dub in the chat for that, bro! Thank you for the fucking 20 gifted, Lear! Thank you for the sub, thank you for the fucking 20 subs, bro! Oh my god! How many subs do you even have to the channel total? It's fucking a shitload. Thank you for the 20 gifted bomb. Oh my god. Brian, new uh, for the sub. Lear, thank you for the 20 subs. Holy shit. Fuck. Go home to your parents. Do you really need to ask? Stay and wait. I would say, I don't want to tell him to go home, dude. I feel like, I feel like with a serial killer out, he's just alone in a park. He should go home. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually, but, uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on! I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It's gonna be Westline. It'll take a little while to get here, it's but... It's gonna uh, be Westline. It's gonna be Westline. Thanks West again, Forrest. Stop. Now that motherfucker's gonna Good die. Time. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Oh my god. Do you know the way out? Just run through the walls. <laughs> Look at you out of this. Do you know the way out? Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right! I Listen, Eugene, breathe. Drive him out. Hide and call back in a minute. Oh, we'll is that get it? You out. I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. I need to get a bigger map. I need to get a bigger well, map. listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. 
for all you lovers out there. Nah, I already played that. What do I want to play? I'll play him. For all you lovers out there, this is a track for you guys. From 189.16, The Scream. Play a record for us. Shut the fuck up, Peggy! I'm done with your bullshit! How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Oh shit. Why'd she change her mind? Is it the maze maze for kids? Yeah, why'd she change her why'd mind? Why'd she change her I mind? I don't know that. She went with that jerk Brad uh, instead. Does everybody have dates in the maze maze? Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. Okay, too many people are saying Peggy's the whistling man. Chat, she's right there. The Whistling Man is currently in the maze. Peggy we is could, right in front of me. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has Maze Maze stuff somewhere. Okay, her. I gotta go, go in her office? Okay, okay, okay. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. I gotta turn this down. Uh, Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception, never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah, sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Oh, I will if you let me leave the room, Peg. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure I could just go find the fucking maze itself. It's at reception. We're looking for something that would help us with the maze. Huh. Looks like Brad broke her heart. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. Bingo. Doi. Here's what I was looking for. Oh god. Chat it chat, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. It is G fucking G's for Eugene. What is this game even about? There's a serial killer that lives in this small town. I'm a radio show host. Everybody believed the serial killer died because he disappeared. He didn't die. He's still alive. He killed the cops. 911 routing now goes to the radio show. I have to keep these people alive while an officer drives to another state to try and get, like, reinforcements. Which takes, like, nine hours. I have to guide this fucking guy out of this maze. Chad, it is so wraps. If he's in that middle part, I don't even know where I'm going to fucking bring him. It looks like there's multiple paths I can tell him to go. Okay. Any luck? For Eugene? Yes. For Barbara? No. Brad canceled the oh, date. Oh, I'm going to tell him to go so to certain Barbara statues. Left her tickets okay. And a map for the maze maze behind. Ugh, Barbara can do better than Never mind. This is going to be Let's hard. Let's save the kid. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Where is the tractor statue? He is at one and he is facing hay bales on his right. Facing a tractor statue, gold hay bales to my right. So he's facing this way. Wait, no, it'd be opposite for you guys. He's facing, I, it's fucking inverted, so it's really hard to look. He's facing this way. I need to tell him to go 
facing a tractor statue and that golden hay bales are to his right. What? That doesn't even make sense. If he's facing the he's facing one, but the golden hay bales are to his right. He needs to go left. I don't yeah. Go left. But I don't know where that's gonna bring him. It should bring him up. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me. Okay, he's right and there. A creepy rocking horse on my left. He's facing the pig statue and a rocking horse to his left. Where is he then? I think he's right here. He should go right. Back. Chat, is he in here? He was facing this and he went, he said he made a, he, I told him, we told him to go left. And then he made a right and he went straight. So he needs to go right. Not back. Why would he go backwards, chat? Why would he go backwards? He has a pig statue in front and a rocking horse to his left. I think he has to go right. I'm going to disagree right. with you guys. Okay. Here I go. This, uh, uh, doesn't look right. No, no, I'm going back to where I was. Jesus. Shit. Oh, shit. He's cutting through the walls. Where do I go? Go backwards. I'm listening to Chad on this. Crossroads. Pitchfork statue up ahead. Where do I go? Pitchfork statue up ahead. Crossroads. Where is he? He's at five. How is he at five? How? He's at a crossroads pitchfork statue up ahead. How? How? He needs to go left. Uh, does he need to go left? No, he needs to go right. Or straight go forward now he needs to go chat he needs to get out here where's the crossroads is this okay he's staring at this pitchfork statue up ahead I've been staring at the green. I thought that the the roads were the green and the walls were the white. It makes so much more sense now. Chat, I I now understand how you guys are getting this so quick. There's ge there's genuinely no way. No, I'm so serious. I I was staring at the green and I was like, that doesn't. This doesn't make any sense. I was like, why is he? How is he? How is he at the crossroads? That's okay. So now now I understand what's going on. Okay, so he is at a he is at a crossroads, and he needs to go left. No, he doesn't need to go left. Okay, so he was here. He went to here. And he went this way. Now he's at a crossroads. He needs to go left. Right, chat? Because he needs to go this way. He needs to go this way. Yes. Okay. Go left! Now I know what I'm doing. I was swear to God I was staring at the green. I don't know where this is gonna bring him now. Tiny barn ahead of me! Scarecrow behind! Oh, nothing either side! Tiny 
barn ahead of me. Scarecrow behind. He is facing, he is facing eight. He needs to go right. Go right! He's gonna be a 10. Ah! Just press the cord, Silo! He passed oh, it? I didn't see anything else! <laughs> he passed a corn silo. So he's here. But that's just gonna bring him right back to where he was. Didn't see anything else on the way. No, he didn't see anything else on the way, so he didn't go up this way. He he's he's right here. He is right here. He needs to go left or straight. He's right here. But where does he go? Because if he goes left, he might go down, and that would be bad. He needs to go forward. I think it, I think he'll know what I mean when, what I mean when I say forward. Go forward. Okay, I'm going. And that should bring him all the way to here, and he should leave. Wait, no, you don't have to do this. Ah! I think I'm gonna be sick. Stupid kid. What the hell was he doing out? I don't know. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their- How did I fuck that up? How did- how did I fuck that up? Chat, what- what- what, what was I supposed to do there? What was I supposed to- I sold? That makes the most logical sense. Everybody shut hey, the fuck up. I'm showing you the fucking okay? map, and I'm- I'm actually- No, that, Eugene, that actually makes no fucking sense, I think she probably chat. never left Shut home. up. Bro, and it freezes, and now I lose it. He- he ha he was- he just passed the corn silo. He, he needed, Thank bro. you for calling in, Mr. He Walker. Needed, we'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious clients. He needed to go clients. fucking straight, Remember, dude. Report a Clive to it was stay left, alive. But if he went Next left, he would have fucking us, gone so down, man. That wouldn't have made sense. Going right would have been fucking... He would have fucking just run right into the wall. He just passed a corn silo. He had to go straight. Oh my god, he was at another crossroads. I fucking hate this! I fucked it up. He was facing. Oh my god, I threw. I fucking threw. He just passed the corn silo and he reached this fucking four way cross. And I told him to go straight and he ran down this way. I thought he was facing the fucking wall and I was like, just go right. Go straight. Lit up. He needed to go I fucking need to take right. The call. And he would have lived. I threw. I threw. I gotta take a pass. I fucking throw. Oh my god, rip. Well, rip in the chat for Eugene. That motherfucker's dead. Okay, anyways. I gotta take a fat piss, chat. Count me down. Jeez. Oh, we're back. Oh, salty for the 15. 
Are you live in like 20? I might donate a good amount. Also, please play Kanito Pet. Dude, I thought I, I watched Chris Udala run Kanito Pet on streamer mode. And I, I will be live in 20 minutes, yeah. Um, and thank you for the 15, by the way, Salty. I will, uh, I kind of, I kind of might play Kanito Pet. Um, I don't know for sure. Uh, it's still kind of up in the air because Kanito Pet is pretty invasive on your PC, but I watched Chris Udala play a little bit of it, and he said the streamer mode made it fine. Um, so maybe, but I, what I, based on my knowledge, not many streamers play it because it is kind of just risky, so I, I might not. Uh, sexy for the sub, 10 tacos for the three. Use R to throw paper and get baskets. Tetra, uh, Tetris for the three. Will you ever make a basketball cap slash hat, water bottle, volleyball, and basketball for the third merch drop? If there will be one after the second drop in April 2 or early May. Well, there will be another drop. I, I don't think I would ever make a baseball cap. Um, maybe a bucket hat. Um, a water bottle I could foreseeably see. And maybe a, like, a ball. I don't know about a volleyball. Chips for the sub. Jack for the sub. JTY for the three. Just watched the Bar mo Bob Marley movie, and wow, it was amazing. You liked it? A lot of people... Chat, who here has seen the Bob Marley movie? I really want to see it. But a lot of people said it was bad. Like, they didn't do the fucking, like, his life justice. But I don't know if it was... I, like, I feel like that's just some people complaining. It was so good. I really want to see it. Damn, I should go see it. Zodek for the eight. Uh, you should just acti activate creator mode. Doofus for the sub. And Salty, thank you for the fucking uh, donut, man. Uh, all right, lock back in here, chat. The accents are thick. Well, they're Jamaican, so I mean, yeah, be, like the, it was Bob. It's Bob Marley, right? The fucking the pi not pioneer, but a, the, one of the probably the biggest reggae guy in the fucking world. I want to rip the rest of that mini shield. <sighs> no. 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 Do you think we could get a timeout on ban on this guy? Why? What do they do? Oh, let me look real quick. Philosophy major can't figure out a fucking maze. Are you stupid? Titanson, what do you think of philosophy major? What do you think philosophy is? Like, I'm not even understanding. He put philosophy major, can't even figure out a simple maze. That has zero correlation to a maze. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with a maze? I just want to know his, I want to know his logic. Really smart stuff. That's what you think. Phil <laughs> That's your definition of what I study in college. Really smart stuff. <laughs> it's not, dude, I don't, I don't study mazes in college. I've never done a maze in college in my entire life. I didn't, I know mazes. Like, I could read the map. I didn't know which way he was facing. Kieran for the sub. I realized that he just reads, uh, he just tells me a crossroads, though. All right. Lock back in. Jeez. This one guy just keeps fucking spamming the same thing. I saw you type this earlier, bro. Hold up. Fucking time you out. All right, lock in here, chat. I'm from Hawaii. I heard you listen to Top Shakas. How do you know them? Uh, I watched a TikTok that had it. It was like, you know those TikToks where they're like, what are you listening to? And then like the guy takes off his headphones and he says, he said uh, Top Shakas. It was this song. Hold up. Dude, that's a fucking fire song. Dude, half of the shit I listen to, though, now that I'm looking at my playlist, is like straight up reggae. This is a fire song.
going to be muted for the VOD viewers. My friends hate reggae music. It's like one of the only things I listen to. Nah, that one's fire. I've been playing that a lot recently, though. Another fire song. One more, one more fire reggae song, then we'll get back into it. Facts. All right, let's get back into it. Kieran for the sub. Game capture. There we go. Up another caller. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16. The Scream. Hey. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune. Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song. Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. What the All fuck right, was that call? Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Bro, I ain't fucking, oh my god, I'm not saying sorry, for shame, Peggy, for shame. For shame, Peggy, for shame. I know. <laughs> you Let's just say for play shame. a different song. Bro, that lady's We've gonna call back. We've got more important back. things to think about anyway. That gotcha. lady's gonna call okay, back. Okay, folks, here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all the songs to request, why'd it have to be that one? For three! What barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that for song three! for one. It gets Bad. real old when you're forced for to three! listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? For three! Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. For three! <sighs> it made it in the trash can, but it didn't make it in that. There we go. Okay. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Damn, you got a this fucking laggy Nash. mic here, buddy. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. Yeah, what's up, Mr. Dojo? Hey, how'd it go, Mr. Dojo? Oh, the killer got me, man. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Uh, that's not important right now. Just tell me what happened. Goddamn piece of... He came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carried me inside and locked me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but... Oh, God damn. I smell smoke. Should have used tornado style. <laughs> I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right should've, now. Should have switched up his stance. That. Maybe he would have won that I need one. someone here now or I'm going to die. Hey, Bro, why do they hang the up like that? On, on it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi, 
Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. It's just gonna call us. That'd be hilarious. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Fuck. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's... Uh, uh, old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best bro, to do I next. hope it shows me that again, bro, because I don't even remember what the fuck she just said. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What the fuck did she just say? Yo, repeat that, Peggy, please. <laughs> Something about Romero Street. What the fuck did they say, chat? Oh my god. Some old guy on something on the yellow notes. Alright, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Bra Where is Murphy again? Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just told us he's at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Okay, where okay, is sorry, that? I forgot. Chat, y'all peep the gallows waste disposal plant. Notes on the side of the map. Bro, where the fuck? Oh, here it is. Now, what? <laughs> Who's who's gonna be who's gonna most likely help? Yeah, it's right here, but like who the fuck is gonna be able to actually Oh Alex. Oh my god! Lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road right next to Romero Street. Haddonfield Road right next to Romero Street. Okay, so that sucks. Lives at the west end. Nobody eats soggy waffles. Of Myers Lane. Chat, shut up. So they live over here. They're, they're worse than, they're worse. So this is the best one thus far. Boom. Old man lives at the east end of Myers Lane, but he's old as fuck. He ain't gonna be able to do shit, so he's bad. Fire department, get more fire engines. <laughs> I feel like Alex is the best call, even though the old man's closer. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Call Alex. All right, give me a second. Yeah, Alex is also closer than Catherine. Are you calling him? Damn. They're on the way. Okay, good. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Cooper for the south. I hope they get there in time. Gunny here for the three. It's my first summer. Are you able to get my cousin's new song, 20-something by Stray, to listen, please? Not today. Uh, but if you send it to, uh, my mods, I might, but I just don't want to, I don't want it to become a thing where people request me to listen to song. Like, just because, like, just because you send me money, it doesn't mean that I, I'm going to, like, promo your music. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I don't want that to become a thing because I really don't like when people try and send me money to, like, get promo. Um, I might listen to it and give my honest opinion, but not right now. <clears throat> not right now. Prague server the three. Uh, and your band? Thank you for the three, buddy. Appreciate the three dollar dono. Uh, Lil Ivy for the sub. Don and Kamal for the two subs. Kieran for the sub. Uh, they said something weird about Brooke. Fucking jerk off, dude. Alright, lock back in. Ah. <sighs> Forrest, I'm getting- Like, what does he think I'm gonna say? Like, you think I'm gonna read that, bro? Like, like I'm gonna read that, and I'm gonna be like, Oh, really, man? Fucking jerk off. Alright. Call. Oh. Oh, Peggy's getting the call. Why am I not doing the Are call? you sure you can? Traffic notice? What's happening, Peggy? 
Alex was too far away, too slow. The plant burned down, it collapsed. So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. East McCready Street. Oh my God! That's shut down. Oh, oh, oh. And I fucking moved the big ass note, dude. I moved the traffic notice. It was blocking this. Oh, you're fucking joking. Oh, you're fucking joking. I am so stupid. Well, he, he just like his dad. Terrible way to go. That's no way for anyone to die. I I've got to go. I'm one for three. Yeah. Or one in three right now. Murphy, one for four. I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. I am Peggy. throwing. It's gonna be our Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. I have a 3.0 KD, that's fact. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and a hang order. Up. They should give me a hang we up on We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want I don't to got say that range on me. for taking a swing... Gallows oh, shut the fuck Jackass. up. Hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up. You're a prick, Teddy. I want to make sure I get this out on air to all of Gallows Creek. You're a real prick, Teddy. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> you know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. Oh my God, you know what, what is it? The whistling man. Your family's waste plant burned. Your family waste plant just burned down? So now we have nowhere to dump our garbage? The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and- You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it- Your producer sounds a little unstable too. I thought he was about to say, and a woman. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Teddy Jr. Teddy Gallows Jr. can go lifetime. fuck himself. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need oh a minute. Oh my god, I can we'll play Teddy right Gallows Jr. ad. After these messages. I think this is Teddy Gallows Jr.'s ad. That would be hilarious. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Bro, Unlike current up, like, right mayor on the Linda there. Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Ooh. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. 
help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Dude, I feel like I don't, I, I've already played that. I feel like I played that ad like three times. It's fun for the five. What days are React days? Fridays and Sundays usually. Like uh, tomorrow's React Day, Saturday's a Minecraft tournament, Sunday's a React Day, Monday is VR because I owe you guys a VR day, Tuesday I'm off, Wednesday's uh, It's I own Little Misfortune, Thursday's gonna be um, Infinite Craft Racing, and then I don't know, probably like four to run bands or some shit, uh, something random, maybe more Killer Frequency if we um, want to run that, um, and then next Friday reacts. Finally able to make it, uh, make it stream, love watching you, thanks for being a W streamer, thank you. All right, lock back in here, chat. Caller on line one. How long until you finish the game? Chat, how long is the playthrough of this game? I don't even know. Uh, we're definitely going to finish the game, but I, I mean, it's probably going to take another like two or three streams because we only run it for like an hour each time. Hello, caller. We'll do one You're more caller and then we'll do some other stream shit. With me, Forrest Nash. I love this game, though. Oh. Uh, Must have bought die old. Hang on. Who is Hang this? Up. I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Just make sure you're not the slowest. Thank you for calling. That's him. He's just outside. He's got to be faster him. than your friends. God damn it! She's Hang just up. a kid. Can you run? Is there a way out? Can you run? Oh my God! Oh my God! You stay with me, kid. Focus. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. Chad, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. This woman is dying 100% of the time. She is not even. She's not even able to have a conversation. I feel like she's gonna die in 10 seconds. What's your name? Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. The I'm old the murder the house? Hall. I'm at the end of the hall? There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. I need a map. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? I need to get a fucking map. What? What? They're not giving me a map. I have to mentally fu- Okay. Closet, surely. No. Bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay. I'll... He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can- Don't move! Shut the fuck up! What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Horace Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending oh, to be the whistling shit. man. Oh, shit. That's it. I'm out. Yo! Oh, my God. How much you want to bet that Jimmy is going to call in and he's going to need help in, like, an hour? Like, like next time we run this, you're sick, Jimmy. <sighs> Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. What? <laughs> it's whistling night. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid, since 
since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, man! <laughs> Yo. Everyone, get inside! Oh, holy shit. You two, you barricade the door. Scott, Heather, you barricade the back. As long as he's out there and we're in, we're safe, right? You bought time, but not much. Forrest. Hold up. Brooks calling me. One second. <sighs> she said, guess who my friend just met? World of t-shirts. In Atlantic City. Hold the fuck up. For real. That's so crazy. I feel bad for him, though. If you want me to be real, chat. Like, he, he is an alcoholic now. He had chili and a Pino Grigio. That is awful. He called it a ripoff for the price. Yeah, you got a fucking Pino Grigio in Atlantic City in Chile. Who is that? You don't know who World of T-Shirts is? Chat, no way you don't know who World of T-Shirt is, bro. Hold up. World of T-shirts, TikTok. Like, I remember I made a react video to him when he was, like, day drinking at a fucking Target one day. And I was like, oh, that's, like, him trying to be funny or something or him joking around. And now he's, like, actually, like, drinking every day, all day. Hold up. I'm pulling it up. Cameo special fifteen dollars. When I met you in the because I'm happy. I'm not another sky. <laughs> the drop of canna in Atlantic City. <laughs> nah. Like draft. Oh, this was six hours ago. Like it's called multiple places a ripoff. Damn, how long you been there, bruh? You was there all day? Holy shit. Attack for the sub. Uh, it's foot for the five. I already read that in Foxy for the sub. Nah, like he actually... Like, I think he's a funny guy, but, like, he is going down on a actual massive down spiral. And, like, he refuses to get help. Um. God. He seems like a nice dude, though. I know he follows me. Um. God, man. He just drinks too much. Like, I think, I think there's days where he doesn't, but, like, he drinks, like, every day. All right, lock in. He's gonna be homeless now. Nah, he 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 makes a decent money on social media. All 
All right, lock back in. We have to. Ever. Are you gonna play Val after this? I don't know. Uh, after after this part right here, we'll fucking run something else. We already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Oh, of course, the van. Who's got the keys? This Jimmy game's good. Him. No, we're gonna continue it another day. I'm just not playing it right. Like I'm not gonna finish the game. We're two hours into the game. It's like a five-hour game. Five or six hours, I think. Jimmy had the keys and he's dead in another room. Fuck. I ain't saying I'm sorry. I'm gonna say focus. Focus. Stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's I gotta run be a an way ad. to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. Genie? A devout Christian. Genie McPherson? Our intern Genie? Yes. Genie's with She's them. She's my best friend and the smartest Teddy one Gallows out of all Jr. Of us. is an American man. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Or else these idiots are gonna get us killed. But... I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Ugh. These damn kids never learn. Are you okay? Dude, why does it keep trying to get me to comfort Peggy? Breathe. They're dumb kids. They're just dumb kids. Ugh. They do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right. <clears throat> Folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trap kids out there. This one goes out to all the trap kids out there. Hold up. No, not that one. No. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Somebody said the queso stream's kind of off. What do you mean? Now you pulled my curiosity. He's not even streaming. Oh, brother. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. I have to go in the intern's desk. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Yeah, she's the she's the intern that works at the front desk. This weird ominous noise shit. Is this not her desk? This is the front desk. I don't think this is her desk. Is this her desk chat? Oh wait, no, her desk might be upstairs. Did they say her desk was upstairs or downstairs? I think it's probably upstairs. The music's making me scared. This is a horror game, technically. I don't know. I mean, these are desks, so I don't know. That's not her. It is downstairs, chat? Are you sure? Uh, 
Oh, I know where our desk is. It's in this back fucking corner. Jeez. They yep. really tucked Jeannie away. Friendship quiz. This might work. What the fuck was that? Peggy's dad? No. She's still chilling. Okay. You find anything that'll help us out? Yeah. I found a friendship quiz help with me? all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. PTO, please turn over. How do I turn it over, chat? When you're ready, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? <laughs> it's the friendship okay. quiz. First things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Heather. Kyle, and Hot David. Hot David. Definitely. Definitely Heather. Heather's got this. Definitely Heather. Yes, Heather. Keep she it had three you. votes. Now, please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Uh, probably we're going to be going with Seth here. Oh, wait. Most likely to escape prison. Probably going to be Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably... No, be we need a hot way. David. Then it's part four. This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. Oh, hot this David. One, we're trying to decide hot David or Heather? We already need Hot David. Who is it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. We're gonna need Hot David. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, you spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay. Let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just not just your teens. So... Let's use that against him. Part 5. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Lisa, because Lisa's not even on the list of most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. It and wouldn't be Cynthia, chat. Most likely to win Finally, the award for punch. worst poker face. Someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek. Cynthia would suck. Should it be? Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, ugh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. I mean, this doesn't really matter, right? Who needs to drive the van? Fucking Scott. Scott. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I. Yeah. Just do what they did. Turn it uh, over! Thanks. How do I turn it over? Just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Shit! Good Scott luck, might have been a bad play. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Oh my god. It was Jimmy. 
Oh, was Jimmy on the list of people that I could have chosen? I don't think so. I think the getaway driver is going to be bad. Scott is most likely to end up in a car crash. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. It's raps. It's so raps, chat. Fuck. Dude, Scott's gonna fucking throw this. All right. Oh, Dude, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. I fucking sold. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Mm. <laughs> All right, hit it. All righty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> Scott's going to crash Slaughter. the car. To the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Scott's the best at go-karting. Oh, but he's most likely to end up in a car crash. That's weird. All right, this is a 50-50 here. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Oh, oh his, his face is... The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got God. Oh, God. Focus. Breathe. Focus, you got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. It really comes down to Scott right now. Like, genuinely. Jenny for the 10K biddies! Come in the chat for that! Thank them. Oh, not thank them. Thank you for the fucking 10K biddies! Holy shit! Jenny underscore Mojo. Here's 10K biddies because I feel like it. Fun fact, you can milk mice. How do you know that? And why do you know that? How do they... What's the purpose of milking a mouse? Drip for the sub, Foxy for the sub, Jenny. Thank you for the fucking 10,000 fucking bits. Dub in the chat. Thank you for the fucking 10K biddies. Wow. Lock in here, chat. It's all up to Scott. <laughs> Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Ah. Oh. There he is. Ah. He's buying it. Ah. 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 Now, push the bookshelf over. Oh my god. He went through the floor. Scott's gonna throw. Quick, everyone to the van. Please. Driver, take Prage. the The damn gate swung shut. Was that? Oh, this might be good though, because he's fast. Uh, what if he runs over carry? The car won't start.
glad you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? <sighs> we get it. I can make it home. Because the plan was good, I think he let her live. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. You get home now, Carrie, before he changes his mind. Right. I, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Fucking dog. Fucking oh, so dog. Was, uh, we did it. A lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Hey, we had a call come in. Dub. All right, what do y'all want to run now? Phoenix for the fucking sub and Jenny for the five. Uh, Jenny for the five. There's no purpose, but I came across this video of somebody milking a mouse on YouTube. There's a YouTube video of somebody milking a mouse. All right, what do y'all want to run? <gasps> oh, toxic Val, bro, bro. Ah. All right, hold up, let me run a poll. Val's so boring. You're so boring. I'm not running Infinite Craft right now. Jacob for the three. Have you seen the guys who stole a 200-foot radio tower in Alabama? How do you fucking steal a 200-foot radio tower? Lol for the sub. Um, Bellatro is the fucking poker game, deck building game that I mentioned. Oh, all right, chat. Count me down 30 seconds. I got to piss real quick. What the fuck came in? Hold up. Fucking Feastable sent me something. This is actually a sick ass box, too. Uh... Middle Beast! Middle Beast! Middle Beast! What do you send me? It's like a fucking loot crate, dude. How do I open this? Oh, God. World's best chocolate pull here. Yo, what? It's like LED lit up. You are one of the first people in the world to try our new Feastables chocolate formula. 
I spent the last year working with the world's best food scientists, going through hundreds of different formulas and conducting tests with thousands of people to figure out how I can improve our chocolate taste. And I'm super excited to finally share it with you. Let me know what you think, Jimmy. And then it's all of the, the Jimmy crew holding the fucking bars. Yo, that's actually so dope. And it's like cold. Hold up. How does this work? Like, how is it lit? I don't want to break the box, but I want to, like, know how the LEDs are working right now. I'm opening it up. Okay, there's a fucking battery. That's, like, keeping it all tight and shit. Sick crate. We'll do a little impromptu review. Not sponsored. I'll give my honest opinion. New. Feastables. Mr. Beast Feastables. Let's give it a try. You know what I really like and that I already saw when he posted the video about this? Now you can actually split up the bar. In the last one, you couldn't even do that. Because it was, like, a big block. Now this one, like, you could actually, uh... Like, break off pieces and shit. Wow. That's definitely better than the last ones. Wow. Mmm! I love how my chat's just... Complaining about what game I'm playing. Throw that bitch in emote only. My chat's pissing me off. My fucking saliva's all over it. I lurky want to eat the whole bar because I'm also hungry. But I think that's a bad idea. I ate half of it. It was way better than the last one. Last one was like... Last one, milk chocolate was like a 7 to me. This one's like a 9, bro. And there's even less ingredients. Milk chocolate, sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate, lecithin, and natural vanilla extract. Wow, that's really good. W. Jimmy for sending me that. Thank you. And now I have this cool ass box that I can keep. I mean, I want to put this back. Oh, you know what's sad though is the fucking LED lights are going to run out. How long do you think these would last, chat? With this fucking battery here? Like, they must have shipped this quick. Because this, the LED lights would have had to be on. Wait. I think I, when I pulled this tab, it pulled the sticky piece and then it turned on. That's actually sick. All right. Take it out of emote only. A little review there for the Mr. Beast Feastable. Thank you for the fucking bar, bro. All right. Shut this. That is sick. I kind of want to eat the rest of the bar. Chat, should I eat the rest of the bar? Treat myself. It is a lot of calories, but that's also because it's a fucking chocolate bar, bro. It is mad good, though. <sighs> I'm going to eat another piece. I'm going to eat another piece. I'm not going to eat the rest of it, but I'm going to eat another piece. <sniffs> My mouth's watering. You should share your Spotify playlist. Maybe. Proxy for the sub. Wow. Roblox? I'm not playing Roblox, bro. What won the poll? Hold up. I keep this? 
I feel like I'm gonna keep the fucking box. Uh, do I throw this shit out? I'm gonna throw this shit out. Because this is just like the pool tab and cardboard. <laughs> the box I'm gonna keep. What what one though? Do the repoll on what we're fucking doing. Ugh. If we play Val, I'm only playing one game. Because we have almost we've almost been live for four fucking hours. Proxy for the sub. Dude, I was on an empty stomach and I just macked the fucking chocolate bar. Ah, Fort won the first poll. Well, right now, Fortnite's winning the second poll. It's very even, though. It's like 50-50 to who's the president. Dude, this is such a sick box, though. Like, this is like fucking... Like, rock art. That is actually so dope. And he gave me like 10 bars. Why? How is it cold? I don't understand how it's cold. They're like cold. Oh, probably because it was outside. <laughs> I thought it was like covered in ice or some shit. If you ship that shit in the summer, that would be a problem. Alex for the three. Roblox Horror is actually amazing. I'm not playing Roblox Horror right now. All right, Fortnite won the poll. <sighs> if Fortnite won every poll, I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna play literally. Like, it'll be like two games of Fortnite. Jackbox, so we could all play. How about that, chat? We just run Jackbox. Y'all down to run just a Jackbox game? We'll run. We'll run. We'll compromise and play neither, and run a Jackbox game so everybody can play. I'm down to do that. I'll do a little trivia murder party. We'll run a trivia murder party. We can do that. Mods, can you change game category, please? Thank you. All right. Oh, wait. No, I can't share this yet. All right. You can play for free. Just go on your phone or your fucking laptop. Go on Google. Look up jackbox.tv. Uh, and then you'll join the code. You'll watch my screen for the questions. And then you'll give your answers, right? Being on a PC is going to make you do better uh, because then you won't have as much delay. Uh, only seven other people are going to get in the game with me, but then everybody else plays in the audience against the players themselves. So everybody is able to play. Aware for the sub. All right. Here is the game. Join. Code is S-Y-S-Z. Aware philosopher for the sub. All right, we'll let, like, fucking 400 people join, and then we'll start it. It'll run, though. Like, you, if you're joining, in, and now that everybody's in the game, if you join in the audience, you'll be... It's so weird how the fucking, some of, like, my VIPs and people that I, like, I recognize in chat get in here. Like, fucking General Zod got in, bro. But, um... Even if you're in the audience, you can join mid-game, so don't worry about that. All right, let's start it. It's about to be loud as fuck. I gotta turn this down. Skipping that. I'll let the instructions play. Wake up! Wake up! It's the people Welcome with the least delay, yeah. A phantasm of mind rending challenges. But it's also a night that has the mantra live. What's up, Bean? Thank you for the fucking sub. Die. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. The mini games if are the best. If you badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey, look, we've got an audience playing along too. Tell you what, at the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins, everyone in the audience dies. Rap. It's like they're sitting in the splash zone, but instead of water, it's death. But enough of me jawing on, let's get to the game. Lock in okay, here, Jack. Okay, now, first question. 
Just to make sure I cut out the I right will not part. get any question wrong. Which lobe of the brain is located in the back? Easy. Use your device to answer the question. That means you weirdos in the audience, too. I took anatomy in high school, but I don't remember. Um... I think it's occipital or parietal. It's not frontal. It's not temporal. Is, it's occipital and I got a right? fucking wrong bitch! The rest of you, I want to show you something. Yeah, give me math. Just throw me into math right now and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna ace this, no problem. We're going to play chalices. All of the safe players have been provided with a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. My chalices are dishwasher safe, so please do a bow if you're still alive at the end. Webby, you gotta fucking pick science, one, pal. People. Good stuff. Please, now let's please, see what please, everyone drinks. Please, please, please. No two. Fuck! Yeah, you like that? It's homebrew. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. Yo, no lie, I might restart the game. No lie. Party. Oh, my fucking game crashed. Yo, it just DC'd me right when I said that. That is nuts, dude. Let's restart. <laughs> Might as well get on Val now. I'm going to run that back. Yo, that's just RNG, bro. I was I wanted to pick three, and I was like, nah, it's the short cup. Somebody's gonna pick three, and I'm gonna fucking get it. So I picked two, and then I fucking died. Run it back. Fucking bullshit. Fucking stupid ass game. Parietal lobe, occipital lobe. Run it back. I won't. If I die again, I won't fucking restart it. I had to do it for the memes. I had to do it for the memes. I could have won too. Like even if you're dead, you could still win the game. I just I was just like, nah, I'm not fucking playing that. I ain't dying off rip. Why restart when you could still win? Erm. Wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trip Oh, don't let me keep you or anything. Okay, now, first question. Do you go live every day? I go live six days a week, What is Mr. Snuffleupagus's first name? Dude, look at the fuck. Oh my god, Mr. Snuffleupagus? Use your to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. I put the one that only makes sense to me. I don't- I don't even know how to say number four. Aloysius? Aloysius. Bibendum. I put Shaster. the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Y'all are Googling it. The I already know y'all are Googling it. Let's go someplace it. You're fun. Cheating. You're fucking cheating. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. So put a little thought into this. It's important. What is very satisfying to break? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. <laughs> if you don't hit send now, your clever answer will be lost. Chop chop, low key, you fucking jerk off! Now oh my gets god. To vote. Legos. You, hate you pick which answer sucks. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. A snowball throwing it, it on the ground. Uh, 
No, sir. Very specific. I have none of that. Bones? That's a serial killer. Voting is not just a right. It's a privilege. I put glass. The votes are in. Please, please. Who voted mine is the worst answer? Oh, Legos? Who wrote this hot garbage? Bra who breaks Legos? Loki read it. <laughs> He put he put so it in last I minute. He went, oh, why ghost? Totally a ghost now, but you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghost still gets a play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Death is not the end. Let's take a look at the scores. Now, don't get upset if you're in last place. Just do your best and know that. Yeah, you're I'm special, not worried because I'm still alive. Also, look at my I fucking character, you, bitch. So look at him. Oh, and let's see how the audience is doing. The audience has more money than me. This is terrible. I'm tied for last. Let's try another one. Pluto may no longer be a planet, but in Roman Kool -Aid mythology, Kool-Aid for the three. Will you be my Valentine? No. Pluto may be may no longer be a planet, but in the Roman mythology, he's the god of. It's between two. I'm not looking at chat. I'm confident in my answer. I'm confident in my answer. It's either night or the underworld. I put night. I hope and it's not the, the underworld. Is it's the fucking one. underworld. I always pick the wrong one of the two that I think it the could be. Of you who are still alive, Motherfucker! Let's play a game. Math. 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 We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Time's a-wasting. Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. Ah, I can't wait to see what it's picked. I yummy, four. yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. Yes! Life is pain. GG's, Plaz! See ya, buddy! See ya, pal! Oh, you brought a knife to a poison fight. Trusting my gut on that one! At right now. Nate for the sub. Here's another one. Who loses the building and loan businesses money that gets George Bailey in trouble in what? It's a Wonderful Life? Who loses the building and loan businesses money that gets George Bailey in trouble in It's a Wonderful Life? This is a straight guess. Dude, I already know motherfuckers are Googling this. Lavia's Googling it, bruh. Who said this? If they get it right, they Google that. Okay, never mind. I have a surprise for you. Fuck, I have not gotten one question right, chat. I still win in the end, though. It's time for some finger cutting. I Middle finger. Get the point no, I cut off my pinky. Enough. Cut off my pinky. I regret that joke. Cut off my pinky, it's useless. It. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Could it be any easier? Ah! Cut that bitch off. All Ride right. the pinky wave. That's Everybody cut off your pinky. We won't answer number four. Okay, you Looks guys like all fucking choose well number tonight. number two and three. I have thirty-three dollars. All right, next question. Which of the following movies is about cannibalism? Oh, God. Eat Raul, eat pray love. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Eat drink man woman. I can't answer four, so if it's Eat Raul, I feel like Eat Raul seems like that would be the right answer. I went with three. And the correct answer is this. God, I couldn't even fucking answer that. Eat Raul? Eat Raul. <laughs> Eating Raul. Wrong. What? Who the fuck made that movie? 
Let's see who's a wordsmith. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Okay, now there's way too many people. Some, some of these motherfuckers are gonna are, are, are gonna spell the word the. I'm going to hurt the person with the shortest word. It's easy. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. The letters don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. Oh fuck. Hold up. All right. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. I spelled a six-letter word. That surely, that surely saved Let's me. Let's see what you could come up with. Sender. Bad spelling is unacceptable. Oh wait, no, they spelled. They didn't. Wow. You guys all, dude, That's two zeros, and then you spelled daughter and, and something else. You gotta spell a real word. I am not. Oh my god, I got money for that. Oh my god, I'm one of two people alive. I didn't wear a shirt today. I gotta start out front. What are those Brits eating when they eat kippers? Oh my god. Surely cured fish, right? Well, not sausages. Baked beans. Cards running out. I put two. If I'm being real. Who picked this yeah. one? Wow, GG's frothy. Time to spin the loser oh, wheel. Time to spin the loser wheel, frothy. Let's play oh, a nice shit. game. I'll go first. Let me peck, let me peck. Now I need a little help from a safe player. Peck. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? Make him roll the higher. choice is yours. Make him roll higher. Hmm, Bruh. let's see how this goes. Roll lower than me or you die. Oh shit. W choice. You gambled and lost. Kool-Aid for the three. Why do the characters look like Teletubby voodoo dolls? I don't know. Only one player left alive. Just That's me! Like That's me! It wasn't easy making Joe Bot. Alive, and it won't be easy to escape with Look how body. happy I look. I'm going to give you a category. Democrats? Democrats. <laughs> Was Theodore Roosevelt a, a Democrat? No. Decisions, decisions. Yes, he was. I'm going to put him. Just in case. I know Barack Obama. Let's see the right answers. Fucking liars! I thought it wasn't him. You, I'm not listening to my chat. You guys are so fucking bad at these games. I can't with y'all. I can't with y'all, bro. Nah, I literally said it's not. I was thinking, I was like, it's not Petty, bro. Petty ain't a Democrat. And then y'all fucking dissuade me. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help oh, them catch up to you. Bruh. What is a marsupial? Isn't one of these a marsupial? And the ghosts get an extra question? It don't matter. I just ace these, dude. I get both right every time. I put a beaver. Yup. 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 That's a double move for the Joe Bart man. Low key about to die. Nations north, north of the equator. Definitely Peru, bro. Definitely Peru. Not Uruguay. Oh my god. I move one. Peru's below the equator. I thought Peru was like right next to Mexico. Star Trek film titles. Oh my god, I didn't watch Star Trek. Who the fuck watches Star Trek? God, I'm clutching. I'm clutching. I'm clutching. I'm clutching. 
They can't give me a shitty fucking question, though. I have to get every two right. Band with three members? Oh my god. Bro, y'all's is so easy, though. Fucking Green Day, dude. I don't know what ZZ Top is. Chat, it is not too. NSYNC is not a three-man band. It's ZZ, ZZ Top and Green Day. Alright, hold on. Eternal suffering awaits. Monkeys. Monkeys. Never heard of any of those? You've never heard of fucking NSYNC or Green Day? NSYNC with Justin Timberlake? A chimp isn't a monkey? How the hell's a chimp not a monkey? And you're out of here. Countries containing the Alps. Countries containing the Alps. locked in. I'm very far ahead of my opponents. So I'm pretty confident. It's definitely not Germany. I put Turkey though. Liechtenstein? Liechtenstein? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? It is Germany. It's not Turkey? Oh my god, I'm throwing. It's the only way. Enter Sandman, Santa Man, and polka your eyes out. I put bro. They just sound like Weird Al Yankovic songs. I only got one. That's still fine. That's still fine. They are very close to me now, though. The shadows are coming. Flightless birds. A kiwi's a fruit. Yeah, definitely a kiwi. I sold, I ain't sell, bruh. Easy. I know what I'm doing. This is so exciting. I win right here. I win right here. I need fucking two right. Sherlock Holmes stories, easy as fuck. The smelly ladies and the adventure of the Greek interpreter. It's both of them. Nope, it's neither of them. Nah, dude, the smelly ladies kind of, I feel like that's too outlandish that it's actually right. I'm putting the smelly ladies. The smelly ladies for the fucking win. The smelly ladies. Shit. You killed your friend. Better get away fast. Apples. He goes first, too. He has to get all of them wrong or he wins. Dude, come on. He has to fucking throw this. And I lose. BITCH! Stupid fucking game. Stupid fucking game. It's rigged. It's rigged. Why do people even play that, dude? Oh, my God. Oh my god, man. Fucking, you're telling me the smelly ladies isn't a Sherlock Holmes story? Really? Really, the smelly ladies isn't a fucking Sherlock Holmes story? Okay. Uh. Fucking stupid. Oh my god. Hold up. Fuck. Okay, chat, we're gonna call that there. W fucking stream in the chat. W fucking stream in the chat. I gotta post on YouTube real quick. We'll do the extra upload today. I said I would, and we're going to. I promised. Dude, I'm gonna freak out. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. 
Oh my god. Yes. Yes. There we go. It's not posting. Okay, there it is. It posted. Did it post? It posted. Okay, done. All right, chat. Excellent point Discord. Join the Discord. Mods pin the Discord link. If you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play, send those there. So I find most of the videos that I watch and the games that I play. Um, tomorrow's going to be a React Day. So if you have any videos you want me to watch, genuinely send those there. And if you have any games you want me to play in the future, send those there as well. Today was a W stream. I don't know if we're going to run Pacific Drive again, just because I don't know if it's the best stream game, but it was a fun game. Uh, Killer Frequency, we definitely got to continue. That was mad fun. Um, and yeah, Don't Pee was also pretty funny. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had a fun time streaming. Um, tomorrow's going to be React Day, 4.30 EST. Saturday's going to be a Minecraft stream at 1.45. Uh, it'll start at 2, but I'll be live at 1.45 EST to probably, like, fucking do the intro for it. Um, Sunday's going to be React at 2. Monday's going to be VR at 4.30. Maybe some other shit after that. I don't know for sure. Uh, but I owe you guys a VR day. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to do Itch Games and Little Misfortune. Thursday's going to be... Uh, probably some random shit like Killer Frequency and then Infinite Craft speed runs or not speed runs, uh, races against other streamers. Friday's reacts, uh, and then we'll go from there. Mr. Hooligan for the three W stream. Thank you. Placer for the three. Uh, I was Plaz. Thanks for playing with me. I almost had you there. Uh, Kool Aid for the three. Why did the character? Oh, I already read that. All right, but chat. That was a dub. Appreciate everybody that popped in. We had a great chat. Audio, great audience today. A lot of people in the fucking stream. I appreciate everybody that popped out. Um, who do we want to raid? Yo, Sketch is never live when I'm live. Let's read fucking Sketch. I'm gonna read Sketch. Raid Connor? I'm not raiding Connor Eats Pants. Not right now. I'd, I'll raid him another day. I'm raiding Sketch. I've never raided Sketch before. Oh, y'all had fun, though. Um, appreciate everybody. Uh, now I'll catch y'all soon. Uh, see you tomorrow, 4.30 EST. Go watch the YouTube video. A little extra upload. Gonna be uploading tomorrow as well. But yeah, hope y'all had fun. Uh, and I will see y'all uh, tomorrow. We're going right in five, four, three.